out. This one doesn't matter. Uh, going live. Yeah. And I'm gonna turn, uh, pop open this. Okay, here we go. It's Killer Frequency. Aloha recommended this to Killer Frequency me. There's... Re recommended is a strong term. I saw it <laughs> and was like, hey, this looks like a thing. Uh, if Yo, if sucks, this sucks, it's uh, not it's my it's fault. Not on, it literally is not on my, on my end, okay? <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I watched the trailer and uh, I found, at least in the trailer, the voice work to be kind of annoying. But Yam and I both decided... We sort of wanted to lay back and maybe make fun of something, but like this has really good reviews. So if this turns out to be good, then like that's fine too. Um, also, Piff is playing Potionomics on his Twitch. If you want to have something at the background of the stream you're watching, of the stream, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Thank you. If you, need, like, if you need like subway surfers on the side, maybe some like stimulation <laughs> videos. Yeah, and while we're some Family uh, Guy funny moments. While we're pitching other things you can be doing uh as far as i know we're still in youtube jail uh we're still getting demonetized yeah. for everything give this stream two minutes i'm sure it'll be dead yeah aloha if you want to film this one with your clock on the stream then uh Bro. that you could do that or you don't have to and we can just do it tomorrow I'll um do it tomorrow all right sounds good uh but yeah if you want to actually support us you can do it on patreon man this game about killers in a small town oh i maybe it's good maybe it's not but you know what is good and is that my five hour sweet water breakdown <laughs> of a uh, game that we didn't run but then recorded me talking about all of the thousand hours aloha and i spent building maps and me drawing a bunch of stuff you can check it that is out it's quite good it's quite good i finished watching all five hours the other day and i was like man Shame this didn't happen, but I'm glad you guys got it off your chest. <laughs> I do kind of like, as a little button for it, I did kind of want to draw what I imagine number one and number eight might have looked like. Uh, yeah. Especially since number eight is yours. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, here's this new game. Oh, oh boy, okay. Uh, sensitivity way too high instantly. Yeah, that's a sensitive camera. Jello, but you must move with WASD, not any sort of tank controls. That's still pretty sensitive, honestly. All right, move with Wazda. This is some Wolf Among Us looking location. Okay. Is this a, supposed to be a VR game? No. You can I hold don't think two so. objects. Swap between objects with scroll wheel. Okay. All right. Uh, drop objects with F. That's a strange pick. Um, hang on. No, I don't want to change my USB ports now, so uh, I'm locked into mouse and keyboard. Hold this to place an object when it's in a valid location. Okay, I'll pick this guy up. Oh yeah, like the uh, the movement has no easing. Interesting. Um, it's all between oh. uh, if I'm able to throw this, it's not letting. Oh, there. Oh, uh, sorry. My left hand is crippled. Apparently, I can only throw things with my right hand. Good to know. You can do wield throwing. No. Your left hand is for holding. Silly. This game can be played in VR. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. This definitely feels like a VR. Oh, was that was that from you or? No, it's just it's it's just a spooky. Uh, yeah, but like, can you can you actually like kick shit on the ground and it makes dynamic noises? No. Oh, it was a spooky. All right. Spooky. Press E to be, this is a lot of buttons for something that could all be the same button. Uh, press E to be getting inspecting. Hold and move to rotate the object. Oh, okay. That's Here's awesome. Whoa. Get down, do a little jab and a hoo and a hoo ah, Okay. That's some. Um, that's some really reactive liquid in there. Always yeah. perfectly down. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's a shortcut you need him to take. <laughs> Yeah. 
It just looks funny when the bottle goes fast. Yeah. Crouch. Cool, I can move uh, slower if I want. Dude, what if you like you're the murderer right now? If every game where you're secretly the murderer is the worst video game ever made. And if you're doing that, you should fucking throw all your assets in the garbage and give up on being a creator. Damn. Get but like, why? Cause it's there awkward. is one game that does it really well. There is, and I but wasn't gonna say what it was, cause it's yep. the one good game. It's it's the one we talk about all the time, right? Yeah. I literally yep. thought the game just froze. <laughs> Am I? Is something scary happening? Uh, the, yeah. The, the the guy is outside. Was outside the door. Was he? Yeah. Oh, there he look, is. Oh. oh no, he's gonna he's gonna get you now. I mean, it's a lot less scary with this floating coffee cup. Oh but... god! <laughs> <laughs> it's Adam Driver. <laughs> no. I see you've made me coffee. <laughs> this, game, this is this is this is not scary at all. <laughs> I don't believe you. I do hear what? something really that loud music. Or, I don't know uh, how. Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. J Jesus. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, Bam. not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays yes. us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Jelly, you know what you must do. Let's do the checks. All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. <laughs> We're about read. to hit some tubular ends. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. That's my nice throw? One. That? <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. What am I? That's a weak little flop. <laughs> uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. <laughs> Fine, man. Fine. You a turtle I, on his neck. Back, back in the high, you know. I love that video. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. The I, record box is on the left. I know, man. I'm looking at the, the options. Right. Pick a record I, and stick it on the turntable. The world. Then hit the play. word oh. Got it. Yeah. Great. Check now turn it off. The world. Ooh. All right. Up next. Phone line buttons. Your captain will uh, be okay. waiting to take your call on line one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, <laughs> it doesn't work let's on that person, move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? Get her I ass. I haven't invented it yet. Get her. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled I, it for you. I know. I pressed it. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sorry, I was reading a super chat. What did she ask me to do? Oh fuck, dude! I was I was reading the super chat too. No, we were all being the super, super chat. Oh, oh, thank God. you for the super right. chat. And then we were all talking about the super chat. Peggy, tell me what I have to do. God, you suck at this. Tell me in a really <laughs> unconvincing voice. It's the thing covered in buttons. They're all buttons, They're Peggy. Buttons, uh, this, this. Did I get it? There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. Oh, it's all right, we're almost done. Just the volume <laughs> sliders left. Are those laugh track These buttons? These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. 
play a record and change the volume with the music slider. I'm the best radio station. Yo. DJ. Sliders should be right in front of you. I'm like using it, you. Peggy! <laughs> Peggy! All right. Seems to be all You're working. gonna die first. We done? And I won't Captain. be sad. <laughs> we sure are. No, dude, she's Coming obviously the landing. murderer. Local time? Ah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Okay, so critique. Um, I know we're not even through the tutorial. In. In Jenny Nicholson's Dear Evan Hansen video, she describes a problem she has with the original Broadway performers doing what they call, uh, what she calls the Avenue Q voice, where mm -hmm. they start doing a funny voice while singing as though they don't think the song will convey the fact that it's funny, because usually it isn't. And there's just this genre, it's usually video games, where it's like, we're doing a comedy where I can like, hear the actors wiggling their eyebrows, but like, they're just not directed right. I'm sorry. They're like, they're doing things because they're reading a script and they're trying to be weird because it's comedy. Come on, Forrest. Like, it's aggressively fake and it, uh, may, perhaps it's their grand vision and they're trying to make it feel like they're not real people and that that liminal personhood is part of the horror. Um, but I think the direction is just as bad as I was worried it would be from the trailer. <laughs> I think that, that guy sounds all right. But... You know what's scarier now, than let's the get horror the show started. Jello? What? The voice direction. After your yes. introduction, this is true scary. Is guess that scream? I oh. thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, you're live in three, two... Oh, oh fuck. Oh, shit, shit. Nine point sixteen. Good the... evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Screen. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's <laughs> only late night family and talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. <laughs> Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. This is Here's why I recommend the game. <laughs> I'm gonna play you a scream. You <laughs> oh, now you're claiming it, now that you think this is funny. Guess that scream. We need it's you to guess about why the they're voice screaming. Direction. Did they stub their toe? Saw off a finger or <laughs> discover the corpse of a loved one. That's good. Now, of course, uh -oh. with the tape. Oh no. We'll play that scream in just a second. Where's the tape? Listen close and then call in to guess that scream. Fuck. I don't think that was the, <laughs> the, play the, the tape. tape. I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Thank God. You're in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. God, she's bad. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing You do tonight. have the tape right. Hey, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. Dude, you are live! No, I, I don't no, have the tape. I think they're... It may be a stupid idea, <laughs> but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic. Tell me so... how to input the... Okay, fine, fucking whatever. <laughs> I hate what I've been... I used to go out all across America <laughs> and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Man, if you wanted this to be good, you could really check out the five hour sweetwater breakdown. Let it rip. Oh, I have to do it. Oh god. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Falling from a cliff. Well, folks, there you have it. <laughs> Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, <laughs> you get two tickets. I love it. Amazing maze maze, and one free fried dough. Fried dough? 
Just call in at 555-239. Yeah, I don't need to be on mic. Your guest. Oh, no. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, this is such a big map. Oh, sorry. Uh. Back to the fuck gems. No, no, you don't reduce, you don't introduce the song. You already started playing it. Oh God, Forrest, that was amazing. Was it? Thanks. Was it? I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? <laughs> Lighten up, Forrest. That's that that head, is headset name. is <laughs> really doing it for you. Is there a garbage can I can throw stuff into? Yeah, it has a, oh, a Forrest, there's a call bucket. coming in. Oh my God, I, I got, Time oh, th those I can off. throw. Is it? Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Oh, good throw. Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. What? Forrest, I recognize your voice. <laughs> Why are you doing I'm this? I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. Why do you know cool. what the 911 yeah, operator I'm sounds like? If this is a prank, I don't do prank <laughs> segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Can't you tell by how serious I am? Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Yeah. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? Guys. I couldn't get any God, she's the awful. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh god, poor Sheriff Matthews. We should you know not be talking him? about this Someone on the radio. Got him. Someone got up. Someone got him. <laughs> I really don't got his ass. <laughs> Why are you calling the radio I station? I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet cases. Bro, fuck the I police. Think I think this killer got something good. Was, but... Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? He's gonna throw no, at the on-air sign. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. Why don't, why don't you play some music? Wait. Just Please lighten don't the mood, tell me you know? that this hick town only has two cops. No. Don't be ridiculous. I'm we the only three. professional person here. Officer Gunderson is on leave. Damn. Can't move. Leslie, we have do you three. Have any idea this is a place? comedy. Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. <laughs> I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on. <laughs> if you need more music, they're gonna be all over there. But if you leave uh... while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's, That's how you choose what you do. Dunk play. it! Forrest, oh. I've routed all 911 calls to come into you. Don't do that! <laughs> this is a bad idea! No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around but here. But I can't a phone line around here. Holy shit, get another take. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work oh, together. Oh, good. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. <laughs> so I let's play it on the radio. Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. Okay. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell. And the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Uh, 
There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on them when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. Man, One that's... Second. You really just can't throw half the time. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Please don't stare at me. I... Wait, that might be them. I, 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 th I think I got the cell keys. Well, that didn't Looks like Sheriff might have saved his deputy. Didn't play anything. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? We shouldn't be on the air. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. But Maybe Jella. Leslie was right. Maybe yeah. we can handle this night. You're the most business. competent person the in spirit, this city. Forrest. I think you're right. Though I have to say, I well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martina. <laughs> the game ends with credits go. roll. <laughs> Just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car. I'm climbing up the stairs. I'm back. I'm Deputy almost Martina to the top of the stairs. Out. I, the shadow, in my radio program. If the killer came ah, back the now, shadow. Martinez would be a sitting duck. The shadow, no. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risks right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. Can I mean, do this? if the killer now, was going to kill that... All right, whatever. What? My car! My car is on my fire! Car is on fire. What do you mean it's on fire? What do you mean? What do you mean it's on Did it fire? Did just go up in smoke? What happened? It continues like that forever. Wait. What? No. No way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Does whistling? it? Whistling? It can't be. Only one no, killer no. whistles. I can see him, but he's dead, it's right? Him. Right? Michael Myers. He's the whistler. How the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? God, this the actress whistling is man. terrible. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. More that now. If you got time to say all Dead. this, you are fine. What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Mm. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... The... Just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes. Got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front. Yeah. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. <laughs> nice one, Forrest. <laughs> Great shot. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. What do you mean us? Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. The sheriff's gun. I guess the whistling man. I didn't done remember. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let I me mean, there were shell casings, so I figured it was spent. Yeah. I... Shit. It's empty. Oh, wow. He the must illusion have emptied choice. it. You're an American police station. You have more than two guns. Yeah. There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. You've got the key ring in your fucking hand! One of these keys I got earlier will help. Oh. Is this whole game just gonna be talking to the dumbest idiots? And <laughs> no. No. Is there anything new, Jello? None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around? Fam. I didn't see anything earlier. Um. Uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray. 
Andre and Taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Oh, the Taser, oh, right? He's doing the pepper yeah. spray, I think. Well, no, he has a mask. Never mind. I mean, it's got to be the Taser, right? <laughs> I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez, and then. Do you hear yeah. that? The no. whistling man. I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's the whistler. We're knocking. Why do they Whistle knock me? that long? Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. Deputy Martinez. I mean, she's a police you can officer. Hear me? It's time to move. Just lean on me. When you're lean not strong. <laughs> Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Why would you radio me again? Good, good luck, Leslie. If anyway, you back to name that woman. scream. God, I hope she makes it through this. You know, I've gotta say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Why are you acting well, like a piece of shit about this? you have to be ready for everything in live radio. God, we should get Will in here so he can bitch about yeah. this. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. Put Leslie back on the line. Ooh. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Did you check the Over. back seat? That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez and the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm Why's going to get us like moving. That? Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Don't sound too convincing. The whistling! No! Get off her, you <laughs> son of a bitch! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. What was the logistics of what was just happening? Uh, maybe he reached through the window. Leslie, are you too okay? It was open? Get away, or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Yeah! You did it, player of the video well, game! Leslie, you saved a life. You saved a just police officer, Jello. Fuck! Oh Alright, we're starting you over. <laughs> I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's pretty it's damn take close. A while, maybe two, three hours each oh, way. Oh, we're like out in the, less really way. out in the sticks. Okay. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now. And, and like, I'm certain he's gonna be a, a prick about this the whole time. Like, ugh, I can't believe now that everyone in the police station has been taken out. I have to stand up and help other human beings, and it's gonna be so infuriating. I'm a big <laughs> name okay. from Chicago. Anyway, once I'm in, oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. So is the twist of this game that the whistling man just out of range soon. has like as as a radio feed directly going into his mask? Take care, Leslie. And he can Be hear all the there. advice we're giving. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better <clears throat> soon, Deputy Martinez. Folks, you heard it here. Folks, you heard it here. <laughs> the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show. Meanwhile. That would be a way smarter if twist. Me either that or the radio station owner who's so obsessed with name that scream. This whistling man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16. The, the scream. scream. For now, here's another hit record the for you screamer. all. The screamer. You you should play the same song every single time. Time to go on the journey that I, is. I threw them in the garbage. Last processor. Hey, you've been picking up the same record every time. ADX. It's oh. just cloning yeah, itself. Yeah, they respawn. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. 
Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? She said two. This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. She said hours. three to four. Forrest, that's not helpful. Three to four each way. No, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character? In Hold up. Where do they live that the nearest town is three to four hours away? Like, Montana? No. Mm. Uh, Alaska. Like, I'm genuinely thinking about the logistics of that. That's like four hours away. It's like that's a that's like half a state, even even in the middle of the country. Anyway, Ohio. Uh, uh no, I've driven through Ohio. A serial killer back in the '50s, Edward Marshall Mooney, went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. Wow, so your gimmick is that you whistle. Did. Nice gimmick. Nice gimmick. <laughs> Great vegetables. Stupid. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. Well, then why so would they assume he died? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't uh, know. Okay. You are not allowed. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows uh, Creek was that obviously large. Obviously no, No, man. 35 people. At best. Hey, Twitch chat. How many people got in Twitch chat right now? Uh, 283. Oh, yeah. Five. That's... Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Nothing. That's 35 people you're talking about, Forrest. They're not nothing. They're people. People who like tuning into our show. Yeah. And what's people. the population of Gallows Creek? That could support our I don't Patreon. Know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. What I year guess. is this? Yeah, 80s, but I guess that's we're gonna learn a lot wrong. about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I know. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? <sighs> Look at I him breathe. waiting politely for you Who to stop you, talking uh, so you, he hello? can heavy breathe into his hello? phone. I, I'd, I'd breathe back. This is why you check the caller before bringing them live on the show, gamers. Okay. What's your name? And why are you calling no you? way. Oh, it's unconvincing, you whistling. No, my name. I've come back from the dead. How do I shut this off? No one safe. Why do I even have buttons? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us? I, I mean, me. We want. Imagine if that was the whistling man. Wrestle. I, I, did. I want cheese dusted pretzels. I'd kill for some cheese dusted pretzels. I'll cut your so where are we? Face off. Uh, face off. I'm cutting Love off. that movie. You, it took you that long, Peggy? 
Peggy! Uh, oh, there oh, you are. In, are. Yeah. Next to Infinity awesome Arcade. Peggy, come on! Him, Jesus Christ! We do, in fact, have an actual killer out in the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. <laughs> it's the same song. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. That's a fucked thing? up. Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. You think by pretending to be this be better at man it. character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. I hope Christ. all of this is Let's a prank. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. When you're ready, Edition. shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Oh. Okay. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? There's like little pins oh, at the I bottom did. you can probably Asia. move around. Jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Lock the car. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. <gasps> Look, I don't know anything about cars, but I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. <laughs> you're gonna have to help me. If it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. Why are you getting off the line? You're don't the get screen. off the line. Oh my god. 16, the scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. You sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. You might be dying. <laughs> Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. Guys. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty Guys. and expensive. Anyway, <laughs> go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and oh. down the hall. Okay. We're actually allowed to move around the station. That's oh, good. Oh, damn. I was going to get really bored really fast. Okay, down the hall. Bat, bat room. So many locked doors, so few keys. Hey, you guys? No? Hey. Hey. Hey, boys. Coffee. Yeah. The Creepy Hour. I think J Man Piff and I watched that on Netflix a while back. <laughs> Truck. Okay. Uh, Truck Freak. Any, anything else? Yeah, they're at the adult movies. Got it. Nothing. 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 Oh. This has to be important. Okay, so we gotta look at the bathroom. Well, what if the whistling man is a pistolin' man in there? <laughs> <laughs> this looks useful. Sorry. It's 
sorry. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. Oh, I can't close my door, oh. though? No, it just swung the other way. This it's is... a double-sided swing door. Well, I'm fucked. So, all right, here we go. Hopefully there's no whistling, man. Object tray. Is this it? Great. Looks awesome. Oh, wait, hang on. Use screwdriver as a key. Remove steering column cover. Check serial number on the strip. Twist the wires together. Blah, blah, blah. There's some rules. Strip the part. Okay, great. Get out of here, headphones. Dunk them. Nice. Get out of here, pancakes boy. This is a waffle house. No way, there's Peggy's on line three. You find the anything? Peggy button. Yeah. Sorry, I Found wouldn't have noticed and would have lived cars. in bliss. Well, that sounds <laughs> perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Do we have a call? No, I hate this song. Yeah, Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. What next? This lady's okay. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh, God. How long are these screws? Okay. Cover's off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up and... Oh, God. My heart is pumping. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um... Four of a four, a three, and no seven. There's a seven. There's a six anywhere that doesn't start with a five. Nope. There's a zero at the end, and a three doesn't come before six. Zero at the end, three doesn't come before six. Okay. Uh, strip and twist. Okay. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow, and we twist, and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Strip the purple wire, do not touch it. Brush against the twisted wires. It says don't touch it, so I assume twist means you're touching Strip it. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... Energize <gasps> body! Fantastic work, baby! Yeah, Jimmy! Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! Okay. You just keep driving now. I okay? hate that you have to be here get to answer safe. the yeah. questions. Get home safe, I guess Sandra. it makes sense. Will do, baby. We did it, Forrest! Sure did. I mean, you here didn't really do anything. That we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Did they have different colored vinyl back then? Oh. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? God, I wish you weren't here. It's a sad place on Earth. Peggy, be honest, it's a dump. 
There's nothing yeah. to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making. I, or, I didn't. I didn't type oh, that. I like it here. That's Isn't not the thing I said to say. Glass him. <laughs> Stab happy. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. Okay, I definitely didn't say that. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for... I think you're swell. Anyway, it's a lot I of hope real the estate they're, they're wasting the on this magazine. And that Leslie gets back soon. <laughs> Me too. Truck. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> Caller on line one. Aw, oh, shit, dude. Time hey. to turn the music off. Shut Evening the fuck caller. up. This is Forrest Nash. Why can't Post we have music playing? The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here. At you Ponte you immigrated Pizza to here? This town really in America? Cool. You came here? And, uh, as a thanks From for all Scotland? I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. You oh, don't have to be... It's free pizza, man. Don't be a prick. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals. He's just... He's advertising. It's fine. It's midnight. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh. Oh, no. He's the killer! Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. <laughs> hey, don't worry Me. about it. It's alright. Kevin Nash. Oh, Wait. Thank you, Forrest. You're Forrest I Nash? Kevin Nash is... You or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza! We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal! Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend! You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself- God damn it, you're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You wow. know how to play an ad, right? I hope it's an ad for Ponty's Pizza. Nope. In-flight check time. Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. How? Uh, the, yeah. Done. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Giblet Miss Harvest Field. Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. Pray. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, Dude, they got contest, everything. horseshoes, hayride, hay top, How much did you pay for a longer than 60 pumpkins, second ad spot? Bobbin, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, seats, bitten sand, licking, cracker, cramming, and cat shop. And fake tattoo, face painting, puppets, petting zoo, amazing, maze, maze, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle. Pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating. Man, I wish Will was here so he could give us a quote for this. And of course, our famous is Will doing anything? Measure off. Um, the festival is brought to you by Mayor I think Lincoln he does Arcai, something on Friday. Yeah, I think they're about to do a thrilling event. Oh, okay. Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're about to. 
Well, if he wants to have a I bad can see time why instead. It's world famous. It's a highlight <laughs> around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, oh my sticker God. set, or a poster. Let's see what our next caller okay, would choose. Jello. There's just so many little line placing problems and bad reads. It's like, it's like poison for Welcome me. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. The kill Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just put why do you me all on Sheriff Matt. No, yeah, why do you all Sheriff know Matt the 911 operator? Ted? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source. We're on the radio live right now. We're live on the air. Anything great. we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. Uh, yeah, man. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke. Oh, hey, that was a good read. Nothing to get worked up about. Careful. Some idiot kid just broke in, dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teen. They get worse every year. Nah, this oh. punk wasn't even oh. a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. All right, man. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know what I'm looking at on the security monitor. Sheriff Matthews. Where are you now? Oh. I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch but them there's on these AMC animatronics TV. trying to break in. Set in the boardroom. <laughs> Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope really so, Isn't it really convenient kid. that the whistling man isn't listening I'm to the radio sure right now? I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. Bro, if you're within audio of that, you're stairs. fucked. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Tell Forrest, him what to I've do. Got it. Why don't we call the killer? How? They have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? in different rooms with different extensions so we call one of them draw the killer away why would that draw him away exactly i'll pick it's up the phone the i can hear you you know the son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet sorry maurice peggy and i were just trying to figure out you realize how stupid that plan sounds, uh, right? Yeah, I, I I'm a human being. being. You're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. And thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Oh, Scott Falco's Don't playing Risk of Rain too. Better than this. No, this is great. You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? We're on Mr. air, Russell. Peggy! I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Don't, don't hang on. Machine. 
Actually, I think you need to for the fax machine. Oh shit, 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 shit. Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must be it. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> Man, you drew that pretty fast. Yeah. Time to flush it down the toilet. Yippee. Wahoo. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my oh, fax? Up. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. Where's the guy we're trying to end, save? Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. I don't. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? I have no idea where our guy is. Uh, Edit it. The, the guy's up the stairs. Okay. And so now uh, the killer is in the office space. Probably the editor's extension, right? It's the furthest away. Isn't isn't that where he is? I have no idea. Uh, chat. Uh, it says boardroom. All right, I believe you, chat. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. Don't call for. Oh, do, well, do not call the don't boardroom. Don't be a horse's ass. Forrest, this is no time for jokes. Where should oh, I call? Oh, he's in the boardroom. No, okay, he's okay. in the boardroom. Okay. So. In the killers in the office space, and we want to get him to the stairs. So yeah, you would, you would need Help him to go me. to the the editor's uh, office, yeah, so that you have an, a clear shot to run, right? Yeah. Yeah. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got I it. agree. I'll put the call Thanks, for you when Piff. you're ready. Thanks, Piff. Piff. Yeah. Where do I need to go? Uh, oh, we're doing this one by one, huh? Um, Go to the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad. Not man. bad. I'm ready to place the call. Are Becky. you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. What if he just doesn't pick it up? Oh, a phone! I mean, why I would he pick it up? He's actually Dude, shut up! Office. It was all Peggy's idea. Don't, it to guys, it doesn't uh, matter. Don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. Oh. I'll call when I get there. Why don't you just leave? Stay on the line. Can make it okay? He has to move sure, rooms. Fine. But now, what do we do? Oh, right, it's the 80s. Find some has way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't Wait, think how did that girl call from her car? Buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. Huh. We got to think there, there are car phones. phones. Maybe we could. Oh. Or there was Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. Damn fire regulation. Say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most...
most sensitive records. Oh, the secret Ooh, archive. A secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets. We're outer space. doing something, Peggy. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. And plus, we're Sorry, live on Forrest. air. Sorry, Can't Forrest. Yes. We're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Not really. Use a radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. What he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. Why? I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. Is he I'll still back in this I've tiny room? Radio. You think he's still at We're extension number him, three? Forrest? Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Heck. All three of them. Oh, yeah. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plant it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio! <laughs> it's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just Maurice, yet. be yeah, quiet. No, you Nash. wouldn't want I them to hear you. That when you yelled at me. The radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Yeah. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. Play. You just. Oh, that's a good Send point. Send it to us, and then we'll wait and play the but song. Wait, yeah. we're oh the God. radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Can you, Peggy? If you can do that, then. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 189.16. I'm gonna say, oh my god, play Despacito. Oh my god, play it. <laughs> you confirm that? Sorry, what was he asking? I was. He just asked. He just told Peggy to hit the stinger. Hit the stinger, Peggy. 189.16. Best read in the game. I've so got far. the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my. So, sounds like we need to make plan. another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Mm, probably the kitchen. Call the kitchen. The extension is 02. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? Hmm. I mean, you didn't pick up. Maybe to the. Maybe to the. Yeah, boardroom. Let me have a think again. Let me have a think. Sure. Call the boardroom. I was thinking more. It's, it would be four. easy to see. That might work. Yeah. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Sure. Hmm. Whatever. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. I was just thinking that the kitchen's door is further past the archives door, so. He'd yeah. be able to get out without being seen. Why can we hear him He's on whistling? The I'll call you guys from my office in a second. 
Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Carl! That's not uh, bad, actually. I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am not. Good question. Get out of the room. You're not going to stay in there. Uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Uh, I would think cabinet, the cabinet, right? right? I think you could probably do it in the secret archive and just get out of the room first, but I'm gonna say cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything. Until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! Knuckle sandwich? That was one of the games you guys could have voted for. Yeah. Like, I can tell the guy they got for Forrest at least has radio experience. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in, We just locked up the whistling man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! Get out of there, man! I can't believe that actually worked. If I'm being honest, so, I can't believe let's it. Let's say either. the killer oh, God, so can uh, get out of the archive somehow, and he now has a radio tuned into the 911 station. I'll be <laughs> off now. It's a really good here. plan, guys. <laughs> Yeah. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the Gallows Reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. I feel like the idea are, of this game is interesting. Is yeah. I high key hate the tone. And play some killer tunes. Neither the writing and especially not the direction are funny enough to carry this the energy they're trying to go for. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time? No. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and we're still all shrouded in mystery. <sighs> You're bound by your desk. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Too bad. Question one. Tell me about your family. Why? Oh God. Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. forced characterization. Okay. It's yeah, it's general. You said you didn't want people to know about you. General questions no, are fucking too safe. Too specific? I Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry for Hey, so Kill. while we're while we think the killer is fine, do you want to like come and hole up in the same room instead of being like, "No, you can't see me." Then they'd have to model me.
<laughs> this seems in character. Don't be sorry, I'm not. Oh. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? No, they were killed by the whistling man. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. Uh, th then they then did not go the same, the same way. Oh, okay. And, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So Killer. I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, oh, Mr. Yeah. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. You sounded you defensive. Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. One of them was killed I by the whistling sister, man. I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hey! Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you oh, want to go check it out? No. no. You sure you don't want to? No, go? I don't want to check the booth it. While we're on air. One of Reggie's K fam regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. I don't want to go out there. Understood. I'm on it now. What? Dude, oh. the it's, it's on just the, the pizza door. guy. See you in a bit. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. I'm not getting in there tonight. Did I... There's a mouse trap you can use to catch the whistling man. <laughs> Did it delete the key from my hand? Uh, I don't know. I think you might have dropped it on the ground when you picked up the mice. Don't worry, I've got, just the, have it then. I've got this mouse trap. <laughs> this will work. <laughs> yeah, hey. yo. Tape. That's Got good. Him. That's good play enough. On air. It doesn't even say that. It says play me on air. Let's take a look around here while we're here. You know, I just want to shout out like the way, the the vibe and the slowness of this. I I can't help but be like, man, I really liked moving around and doing stuff in um my friendly neighborhood more. So I'll recommend that game again. Wow. Who did the voice direction for that? Uh, me, so it's good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says... Play me on air. All right. Well, no, turn the music off and play it. Why would you no. do that? <sighs> the illusion of choice. This is such a good idea, gang. Let's do it. Wait, hang on. Why are we on air at all? Let's record over it. <laughs> oh, come <laughs> on. Come on. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to Man, you mix this really fast. Time to sit there. I'm Almost like you're planning it. I think the killer's inside the recording booth. I think you might have to finish it. Yeah, I know, because this game's bad, and they didn't program for someone obviously stopping the tape. Fine, I'll start it over. Uh, you have to rewind the cassette first. Uh, wow, fuck. I just want to point out that someone being able to splice this audio into a tape in the 80s in 10 minutes, completely not feasible. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? Why did you play it on air? I... Oh, Forrest. 
We're still on air. Say something. Laugh track. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful. I don't remember Fraser like stay this. Stay home and stay safe. <laughs> Give us a call if you need help. Give us a scrambled eggs. You got it. <laughs> cool. See, when nobody does anything that a human would do, your horror is completely ruined hey, because you stop caring in. about anyone. It's like reading a creepy pasta where they're like doing shit no human would ever do, and you're like, "This is a willfully a stupid." Waiting. Okay, I'm trying to talk to my friends. Pause the game. Yeah, Peggy. So, like, like first of all, okay, I get that they need to go to the next town to get help. Why does the only qualified nine one one operator have to go? Second, okay, if you're gonna reroute all the calls to the radio station, which is a bad idea because you need training for that. You, like, if someone calls and they're having a heart attack, what the fuck are you gonna do? So, like, third, why are you on air? Why are you on air? Um, why- This is a fucking emergency. There must be a fire department and a hospital that are also connected to 911, even if you have only one dispatch. A town's gonna have a firefighter. A town's gonna have somebody who's got some direct connection. Is there a reason we're not just calling the next district over? That's a thing you can do. They did say that the phone lines were down for some reason, yeah, which like, fine. For that building, we can still call people. Yeah. Also, I'm just gonna throw this out there. There's nowhere, this, there's nowhere that, you would need to drive two hours to find another town with a police officer. Like, even in bumfuck... Like, speaking as somebody who just drove through bumfuck nowhere to move from Texas to L.A., and we drove through the... If they're in, you know, if they're in the middle of the goddamn Mojave Desert, in, like, the most deserted parts of SoCal or Arizona, maybe. But clearly we're not, because the 80s nostalgia is, like, suburbia... So they're cheating, is what I'm saying. Also, someone said the writers didn't do research. This isn't, guys, this is common sense. This is someone anyone could ask you when your story falls apart. Because it's a horror game. You're like allowed to make it good though. Oh shit, it keeps track of a, uh... oh, and there's rec records collected. Who cares? Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream with- Ash, shut up and listen to me. Mr. Russell, what's wrong? Are you okay? I said, listen, he's gone. The whistling man is gone. Wow. Now what? He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks and... It's, well, it's been 15 minutes. There was minutes. a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson. Oh my the god. Got him. Oh, I feel bad I saved you. Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. If you give me a button to shut off the call, I should be able to turn off every call in this game and let everybody die and get abandoned immediately. I'm just throwing that out there. God damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. Then we got lured away by a phone call. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, man with a eye locked. patch and a bandana no crawling around. <laughs> Maybe. Hook hand car I mean, door. Oh, it's crazy. But if he's Elton John, the door, then got his ass. Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Baloney. There's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look. I don't want anything more to do with this. 
I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. He seems really spooked. Yeah. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? He's not spirit. a demon, Yeah, you're probably right. But what so do we do like, now? So I like how they're planting that like he probably found something juicy in the archives with the much more pressing matter is that now he Thank has a radio to the 911 call. Tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a oh, break. Jesus I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches bad. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. You can oh. just you can just walk over here, Peggy. No. What do you mean? Let me you have to acknowledge Peggy. Peggy. I did. She was done talking. What if, what if Peggy's a ghost? <laughs> you ever think of that? No, I didn't think of that, Pef. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm a, a better writer. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Play me ASAP. Off air. What is this, Peggy? Also, why didn't you just tell me to do that? Or why, like... to change your name for a stage name and you went with Roddy Snatcher? Are you a big fan of Roddy? I love Roddy! I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it. Give him a Roddy toppy. Oh, what the fuck did you God. just say to me? I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. I have to wait for you to Man, stop talking. I Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, Damn. actually. Well, go Damn. Well, Friday song before Gina sues the You're really good at this. Kobe. 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 Buckets. Scotty Pippen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can't you can't throw from random angles. You just go. Uh, uh, I'm shaking. Oops, it's behind the couch. It's lost forever. Oh yeah, what day is it? It's the third of September, 1987. Okay, and yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Doing my best to engage with the puzzles. All right, Doing. Let's go. I wonder. If, I wonder if the cheese trap. Oh my god! Anyone. What if? What if the rat trap? I'm gonna go out on the roof and jump off. <laughs> no, okay. There was a spooky noise. Ah! Oh. Okay. Hell yeah. No! Okay, good. 
Well, oh, 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 he thinks this yeah, one. You're fucked now. Yeah, you're fucked now, <laughs> boyo. <laughs> yeah, I thought you could get away. I thought you could fucking whistle this <laughs> asshole. Yeah, he steps in one. On. He's like, all right, ow, that hurt a lot. But it's not like they're gonna have two mouse traps. Oh fuck, I'm out of here, bro. Right, we didn't find a third one. We know all bosses have like three hits before they're done. Are you right? Someone in chat goes, huh, now you'll get that whistling rat. <laughs> what does it say? Oh, that, that looks like something. I can't read. Me neither, man. Alright, that's not meant to be read. Exclusive. Um. Alright. Well, I'll put this in my other hand in case I, in case I need it. I'll just bring it to the I screen. need a key to get in there. Sorry, what am I? Oh. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Cla classic spray trap. Just like Home Alone style. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, so I know I'm getting the. I'm going to the mail room. I didn't honestly pay attention because I hate Peggy. Uh, You're going to. She said it was in reception or something. This, this is reception, right? So. I didn't attract. Can you still pick stuff up with your hands full? No. I mean, like, does it show that you can? No. This okay. must be it. Oh, no yeah. My tiny selection grows. Dude, fucking, I love Roddy Snatcher. What's your favorite single? Uh, um,. I'm a snatch ya. <laughs> oh, his original? His, his, yeah, his, his, his release? His, like, his debut? Yeah, his, his self titled album. I can't wait for Mike the Snare to do his Roddy Snatcher. Very <laughs> <laughs> retrospective. One day. Jesus! I'm I'm fed up with it. <laughs> it's me, I'm the killer, Roddy Snatcher. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Hey, sorry for that. Gallows Creek. Okay. I'm pleased to say. Sorry for that five minutes of dead air, ladies and gentlemen. Next, courtesy of the I was setting some mouse traps. <laughs> is a track you won't hear everywhere. Why didn't they call this game Dead Air? Here's Final Breath by Roddy Damn. Snatcher. Um, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. It's and nothing. more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. I'm glad that arc was resolved. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. <laughs> It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Evening, caller. Get murdered. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy! Oh, yeah, okay. Murphy! Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Free today, and man, being his daddy has changed my life. Oh no! I've learned how to live. How, how to many laugh, death flags can I plant before you have to save me? How to love? Ah, happy birthday, Fernando! Happy birthday, Fernando! I assume as a three-year-old, you're up at one in the morning getting this hot shout out from your pops. Thank you Thanks. so much for calling I in. Out. My other thing. Thanks, chat, I'm for all the happy birthday for now. To this so called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Rude. Big man with a big knife and face me. big a lips. True warrior at the gallows waste disposal plant. Guess what? All 
Are you gonna kick his ass, Murphy? God damn right! Hey, I'm this is the kind of thing ass. you don't I put on the, the air. In Master Robbie's dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Man, I love my son. Oh, I'm no. gonna fight this killer. <sighs> and there he goes. Can I throw this out there? If they wanted to do this frequently, uh, the sheriff shouldn't have been killed. That shouldn't be how the game was open. It should just be a stupid game about saving dumb people from like a possible killer. I think the fact that they open it with an actual killing and then don't even describe it like takes away from the freak the tone. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Anyway. We'll be right back after this commercial. Oh, yeah. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double you your power? Are you wisdom? ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then, step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator, the discipline of the tarantula, the speed of the tuna, the poise of the scorpion, and the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Forget the element of surprise. Oh, you know. If you buy today, so, you'll receive welcome to the dual stream. Yo, Lentia, are you ready to be low-key mad at every other read for being suboptimal in this game? Sweet, let's go. It's actually the the advertisements are okay. Um, because I, I get this. Maybe this game was made by like radio people and not actors. No VHS tapes. The tornado technique. This is made by radio people. This is even worse. Call today. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is something. Uh, I, uh. <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Wow. What a deal, only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. We got a caller, you know what to do. Hello caller, you're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> yeah. Hello? Who is this? All right, that's not how I wanted to say that. Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, caller, don't panic. Isn't this the We've same woman from the car? Now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or? We sure did. Save them or save hands. Save them or okay. okay. We're gonna help you. Can she you also tell me said name, Forrest Bella? he called me, Dr. not Sullivan. like Forrest, oh. comma, he called me, but Virginia. like Forrest Sorry. is the one who is Revolutionary Gameplay, the first game made without a voice director at all. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? Don't ask her address on live radio. Oh God. Man, he is extraordinarily calm. Mm. That doesn't really I, seem to matter. 
I assume hide because running away and you would like Maybe end the scenario too else. quickly for he'll it to actually me. be gameplay. I know he'll find me. Oh, okay. Never well, mind. can you fucking you try? Talking? No. Everyone's away tonight. Yeah, Everyone? on a thir on a Thursday night. You live by a frat house. Yes. Wasted. Go to the party! Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know. I'm sorry, in a town of a thousand people, you got a frat, first of all. And second of all, you don't know what the frat is? And you live next to it. But... Wait, the takeout! If we can get takeout to the frat... We can get a message really? to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? Really? I don't know. <sighs> don't be a child! Don't be a child! Fucking idiot. Okay, let's see. If there's one thing I'm always noticing about people down the street from me, it's what takeout they're getting and the fact that they're getting takeout. What do you mean there's a. Wait, is it. Wait, wait, at the bottom, is there a place called Chupac. Chupacabras? Yeah, uh, Chalupacabras, like Chalupas. Oh, okay. You know, very popular in the 80s. Um, oh, sorry. I was looking at the map. Um, don't worry. We'll figure it out. I can't do this. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. Folks, While we, try to figure we had out a good time here tonight. Your to <laughs> to own midnight snacks. It's the same song again. We're contractually I obligated. Him. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. You a Roddy Snatcher fan, Vixen? Peggy, what place Bro, is that is exactly how I sound after Off a woman who's about to be murdered uh, has called me. Well, there's the barbecue place, grilling spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Yeah, they oh, both open at a Thursday, one in the pizza. morning. That's it, I think. All right, we'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There There's a murderer! In the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? This is going to take way see. too long. You know, it's things like this that make me hate this town. Complain after you save her, Forrest. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. Wait, why? And maybe the kitchen downstairs. We kind of have a phone book. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Peg. I have all the keys. Yo, Peg, can you just slide me the Let's whole start. key ring? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Beer. We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... <sighs> I just have to look around. That's great. Can I... She's dead by now. Hey, find anything useful? No, I'm asking you what our food critic... No. Fine, whatever. I'll go and look again. All right. So, uh, do Vixen, uh, Virginia TLDR. Um, uh, the 911 operator was attacked by the whistling man and had to, uh save a police officer to go uh, and then drive to like a different town to get police uh, help uh, which is like three or four hours away so the only reasonable thing they could do was hook up the 911 lines to uh, this radio station oh yeah G good so all, you know so you know uh, you know how you're always in those American towns that where there's like they're fucking two hours away from the next town minimum and there's no other police officers within two two hours. You know how nine one one operators are in the small town and not like in a large city in a large call center. Thank you for the super chat. The the alert of the, for the poll just showed up. Those were the options, and people chose this. I mean, yeah. they didn't know. What's this? Grilling spree. 
I better see what's on this tape. I gotta see what's on this tape. Grilling no, you gotta say it like Peggy said it. It's grilling spree. Dear Bradley Carter, please enjoy a free sample of garlic braid. We've pinned our latest offers and deals on uh, outside of the box. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, uh, the the nice reads, Jello. Thanks. Out of the box. Three hour slow roasted pizza. <laughs> Much like your show was mediocre, the deals are checking out. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. A promotion, huh? Maybe if I find the pizza box. It's Aloha. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Hey. I didn't know you were in this game, Aloha. Yeah, I, just, I couldn't book a better game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy, that's not true. <laughs> We, we can get you in Unicorn Tales. Yeah. From I don't Unicorn like Tales too. Today. Aren't they funny? They're, they're fun. Unicorn I... Tales is genuinely a better game than this. Go buy it. Unicorn Tales is a great game. I'm a little sad that my mic sounds so shit in those, but you know, say lovey. Yeah, you, uh, you went through a tough learning curve of doing streams and figuring out your mic over Discord for those. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't stream. I wasn't a streamer. But you are now. Now I have now I have a microphone. Isn't that Whoa. great? That's cool. Fuck, man. Damn, you like microphones? <laughs> Bro, oh, you know anything about he microphones? He faxed it to us again. Thanks, man. Um, Thanks, man. Yo, Vixen. I think you have you to go to the kitchen, don't you? Probably. Yo, Vixen, do you have a deer tail? Somebody asks. In theory, yes. What do you mean? Just look behind you. Ooh. $20 <laughs> super chat. This dialogue is real tough to listen to. Treat yourself to some nice food or something afterwards. You deserve it. Thank you. But Aww. also, I will direct uh, you. Uh, thank you for the super chat, because it does help. We do get some money. But if you want to get content for your money, we have a Patreon where we upload hours of content. Uh, <sighs> and there's a super fucking long backlog. So... If you want to give us money, then also treat yourself to some great shit. Uh, unlike uh, Killer Frequency, uh, <laughs> Jello has uploaded uploaded a uh, kind of, not a retrospective, but just like him explaining uh, a horror thing he made. Uh, yeah, a pers a, a, a perspective, if you will. Yeah, sorry, my my beleaguered sigh was not in response to anything Aloha said. It's uh, me yeah. realizing I'm gonna have to direct somebody through that fucking through a maze. maze. Yeah. Damn. Sorry, I feel like it's probably really obvious where this pizza is, and I'm too busy listening to my friends. Uh, there's a, there's a, apparently a kitchen somewhere. I yeah, they said where. there was a kitchen. I'm looking for it, but I could. Oh right, she just gave me a key. I'm a, I'm a goon. Uh, this you could be are. a kitchen. Ooh, big yeah, kitchen. that's a kitchen. Okay, let's see. Hey, this is uh, what's this little guy? Can we look up the answers? I mean, like. I would pull up a guide, but then literally all reasons to play this game would stop. Like if we couldn't like pick wrong for Yeah, some I mean reason. like I thought that car puzzle was okay. I kinda dig the vibes in this game. I mean, like yeah, the, it's an 80s the graphic game. are nice. Oh yeah. So people in chat are theorizing that you're probably somewhere in Alaska because radio stations begin with K trash. there. This is a new They bring with K mm -hmm. in a lot of places. Interesting offer. Oh, but also, well small are separated. Oh, we from... better be in Alaska. Yeah. If we're not in Alaska, I'm gonna be mad. Whoa. Imagine doing so bad at your radio show, you get banished to Alaska. Yeah, that's a little strange. Maybe, what did you do, Forrest? I don't want to talk about it. For every point, a Gallows High wins in every Tuesday's big game with every order, best pizza in town. Man, eight ninety nine for a pizza in the 80s. Feels a little up there, doesn't it? In the 80s? Maybe it's for a real big pizza. Yeah, if it was like a large or extra large, that might be in the range. Up inflation. Man, deflation is crazy. This is the first flaw in this game. 
<laughs> this th this is it's unplayable. It's unplayable. They it's didn't unplayable. Google pizza inflation. You get a two two for one for nine ninety nine. Jello, you can't Google pizza inflation. All right, what am I doing? Hey, find <laughs> anything useful? Uh, hang on, I want to play I'll this first. I'll go and look again. All right, don't take too long. Virginia uh, needs our she's, help. She's dead. Hey, <laughs> great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. We got a beer. Oh. What are you going to do? The party is going to be over. <laughs> Fear not. A grilling spree will give you a free six pack of beer if Gallus I wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins. A free six pack? Righteous! You heard me. Six Damn. beers if Gallus High wins. Ooh. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> get it? Me too, Billy. Me too. Man, kind of fucked up your bed. Come on down to free six packs of beers on a high school football game. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Pathetic. A free six pack? Huh. I wonder how a well free six pack. performed. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Why are you talking uh, to me? Gonna tell me. Spare <sighs> ribs. Christ. Why, why would he spare anything? Hey, that was a good read. Christ. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? No. Why? Well, what was the phone number? Who cares? It was the pizza. Um, Probably. those were different places. So I imagine if it's a frat, they want the free beer. So it's on the advertisement, yeah. right? It's that other yeah. place. But I didn't write it down. So someone here has got to do this again. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, don't worry. I'll screenshot it. Right. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab it with the beer? Hey, sure. Thing. Don't worry, I got you. Ha -ha. That's the it's sound the they use yippee. in the the mini games for Pokemon Stadium too. I'm not that Murderer. it matters that much, but I did look it up. And it looks like eight ninety nine in the eighties is about thirty three dollars today. Mm, feels like too much. Yeah. Yeah, I got the number. I'm gonna. Especially in a small off. town, too. Okay, you got the number, great. Yeah, Let's I'll make the call. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? I'm gonna get the grilling spray. spray right? Call oh. grilling spray. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Great. Well, thanks the anyway. The Grill Reaper Aloha. is on the line. What? No, no, no. It's just a. Uh, with, with Grilling Spree, we don't know if they won the football spree. game or not. So. You got barbecue, you'll die for. Maybe they'll answer us. Well, it is a, it is Batman Tuesday, Collins. right? Th it's yeah. Thursday. In major need of foods for dudes. Uh, can I just have your order? I want ribs, big ribs for my frat house brothers. Right. And where'd you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know, the frat house. Same address? All right, we'll get it to you soon. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay, you better tip for this. And that's not asking much. Now we wait. You better we tell put me. A song on. Fucking no. Agreed. I love this that it sounded like there was a busy kitchen. It's 1.30 in the morning in a town of 1,000 people on a Thursday. Now apparently there's a horde of frat boys ordering pizza with free beer. There's a horde of wandering frat boys across the Alaskan countryside. <laughs> Dude, those white guys are ravenous. <laughs> so what am I doing now? Um... Play a Put on another forest. song. 
Here you go. Thanks, Peggy. Love this next track. <laughs> this next it's track. It's the same one. The last track. Same as the last track. Which of the seven hundred of thousand people in this town to are save black Virginia? Boys? No. Wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Sure, but if you had to pick one. All right, all right. Are we not mining haunted. for dating? He's because I don't want to date Peggy. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa covers. Do you mind me? I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Okay, Forrest. Girl, I can Shut relate. The music off. Sometimes I want oh, some gosh, food and sometimes I want different food. Stream with me, Forrest. Damn. Nash. Couldn't be me. <laughs> um, this is Dudley from the Brotherly Fraternity of Engineers. Um, I have a note to call you. Hey, weird question, uh, but you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? No, sir. Uh, I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yeppers. Uh, I yeppers. just visually confirmed it. Uh, I see cars in the driveways, and... I'll, I'll just tell you on. at length. Uh, everyone's in, yeah. Oh, and you've not been throwing a loud party all night, have you? Oh, no, we got I it wrong. I hope we haven't disturbed our neighbors. Why do you ask, sir? Forrest, we have a new call coming in. Oh, no. Forrest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, The Stream. Forrest, it's oh, the no. whistling man. He's at the door. He's... Oh, my God. It's you, isn't it? Clive, I didn't stop. Cut off. Why are we on the air for this? Turn it! Oh my god, turn it off! Me when I'm massaging oh my ground beef. Poor Virginia. You did Live your best, Forrest. <laughs> to everyone listening, I know things look bad, but please don't lose faith. We will stop this whistling man. But and I we? think Virginia may have just given us the clue we need. <sighs> what was that about Clive I didn't talk? Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your uh -huh. guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It Us could having save a janitor lives. named Clive has meantime, nothing to do with looks anything. Looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live. Sorry, oh, we just green. played the horrific green. wet meatloaf Nash. punching death of that woman live on the air. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all Turn it off. Come in, in. Oopsie. A killer roaming the streets of our Sound effect, town. sound effect. Terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's I hear you there. I, too, agree that the killer is no up? good. <laughs> you safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. At 1.30 in the a.m. No free promo, dude. You sure I tried to late. do this earlier. I guess earlier, you must love so. the work. Oh, I sure do. You know, we're at it all day. Oh, you know, day. I love it there, <laughs> Homestar. Peggy, <laughs> shut it off. You're so useless. This game sucks. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small business really is my whole world. What's your small business? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion. Hey, Peggy. Since you asked, it's Ponty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Come it's Ponty. Get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Ponty! No, no free ads. God damn it, Ponty! Get that out of your mouth. I wonder what would have happened if we called Ponty's instead. I get Look, it. There were two now. choices, he and I picked the wrong on the one. Line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. 
Can you imagine if this game doesn't have chapter select and it like wants you to do the whole game all the way through if you want to try and save everybody? Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16 yes. The Screen. The Screen. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Sure, Hello, my caller. name is What's Eugene. Your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I love the killer uh, so in much. The middle of the maze, maze. Listen oh, the maze. Show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. Oh, buddy. You got a special lady coming out to see you. No. Yeah. Molly. She loves to whistle. She, plans to get lost. <laughs> she likes breathing into the microphone. Our first journey together. My kitten. A love labyrinth. <laughs> That's why I'm calling it. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. I thought this was a good use of your phone. Should I line call her right up and now? ask if she's coming or wait and see? For Usually real? I told the 911 <laughs> operator. You've been listening all night. Do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Eugene? You really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But uh, that's what oh, I meant. Well, oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. So was your love You're life, so ayo. I guess she came after all. Molly, I'm in the middle. It'll take a little while to get here, but uh, thanks again, Forrest. Good talking. I I get it. Wait a second. Molly can't whistle. I know Molly can't whistle. Oh, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Would have gone with not the last there. <laughs> Through the walls. I can't. I'm allergic to walls. Stay calm, Eugene. <laughs> we'll get you out of this. Corm, I'm about to die a virgin. Listen, Corm. Eugene. Breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. Well, listeners, well... Peggy Sounds like someone's here. getting murdered again tonight. <laughs> Here's a track for all you lovers. That's right, it's the same one that I've been playing. Yeah, and I'll take the time to introduce the song because I don't understand what priorities are. How am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? I found You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze fanatic. I know. Shame she isn't here. I know. I was supposed to go with her last week. I know. Let me out. I brought it in here specifically to not have to do this, and you deleted it from my inventory. Why did she, she change, change her, her mind? mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. I can really tell you hate him from the way you use your voice and act. <sighs> Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do here. <laughs> Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze hey, maze. Hey, chat. We could, but I don't well, place, actually place your bets. Number. How many ceiling but tiles do you think there are? has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go yeah, uh, this time. stream's about to start Probably heating up. <laughs> uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh, Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception, never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah. Yeah, you're really mad about this rad guy. No excuses. A lot of people are guessing something to help us. All right. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Interesting number. One, yeah, two, so three, eleven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ele it's eleven squared, which is what, like one. Uh, one hundred and twenty-one. One hundred twenty-one. Yeah, I don't I think anyone got it. I'm so cool. I didn't. I, I definitely didn't have a calculator. Mm, really cool. Oh hi. I'm something to prove. Um, Mr. Nose's <laughs> timetables over here. I think someone's just earned a thousand more subscribers. Get on it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Everyone clap for Aloha. Yippee! Oh my God! Wow! 
Yeah, it's not it, but it was in the trash. Yeah, um, maybe it maybe it did move with me. It needs a key. What? What do you mean it needs a key? The exit. The you exit need needs a key from the inside. Look, man, we can't have people exit in this building. That's how emergency exits work. All right, maybe it is upstairs in the room. Who knows? Oops. What's in here? Could be anything. Could even be a boat. I got a weapon now, gamers. Yeah, fuck you, Clive. Clive Barker's Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> Clive's not getting through this little trap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which one of these fucking floor shits is it? Okay, it's not this one. This will be our not this one corner. Not this guy. I thought it was just like one sheet. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. It was. Pizza. Alley -oop. Maybe that's it. Is, is that it? No. 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 Maybe that's it. Wait. I don't think so. Or maybe yeah. it's this might be side. that magazine that had no yeah, backside. Because modeling oh, yeah. is hard. Okay. Uh. Oh man. I hope it didn't get deleted from existence because I was trying to be efficient. I don't think I threw it away. Hmm. Involved behind the couch. I can't look. No one of the cassettes did. What? I remember you threw one of the cassettes behind the couch. Yeah, that was the yellow one. Uh, you had the map, but you dropped it somewhere at some point, I think, when you got the pizza box. Yeah, that's why I looked back in the kitchen. Hmm. How much longer is this game gonna be? I don't know, we might not make it to the end. I'm, I'm looking back in the stream when you were holding it. Thank you. Damn, that's smart. Let's see, you were by... Oh, you like that creepy music that's playing? Nothing Do you think about there's a this timer? game is scary at all. Do you think there's a timer where if you take too long, it's, then the killer will just come in? It's in the kitchen on a box by the trash can. So not this trash can, that trash can, right oh, there. there it is. Here's what I was looking for. Damn. Thank you. Damn, You're welcome. Vixen. That was a stupid Sheesh. place to leave it, especially if I was like, I'll have to come back and get this later. I should have left it on like a lit spot. You put it there because you were picking up the pizza box from the trash can. Yeah, I still should have taken the time. Yeah. How Everybody fucking dare like you? When, when we're here. There are eight people to save. Oh, no, I don't think we're going to make it to the end. Is it faster if I let them all die? Do I get it? Do I get an ending with Speed any run. kind of explanation? Oh, man. Realistic looking horse statue. You should buy unicorn tails. Any luck? <laughs> unicorn yeah, tails. I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter right now. Her date That's didn't go well, obviously. Later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Hey, ma'am. Are you dead? When you're ready, shut the music off. Welcome no. back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you have a weird like question. That. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze Eugene, you're back on air. <laughs> I'm lost, Forrest. What is he in your I ear? I just ran and I. <laughs> I'm so loud. I'm at a crossroad, facing a tractor statue. Okay. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Go left. Go left. Oh, there's perfect. a killer after me, and also there's this weird guy who keeps breathing okay. into my ear. Okay. You want to hear it? Oh, yeah. I went left, then tried a right. Why did you? I have a pig statue. Just in front pick of me a place. And a creepy rocking horse on my left. Go left again. Go backwards. Uh, uh. Wait, let me look at the map. What did he say? Oh, uh, horse so he's left. Yeah, no, it should be go left. Um, because he's he's standing here. Yeah. Let's go this. Oh, you can't get out that way, I see. I see. It's a maze. Tricky, these mazes. Um, I think it's go backwards. Go backwards. Because he was at He's three, which is just inside <laughs> over. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? 
Yeah. No, that's wrong too. Uh, it doesn't matter, they all go the same way, they're all wrong. Uh, go left. Go left. Okay, all right, shut up. Uh, there's a tiny barn in front of me, and a scarecrow behind me. Nothing to my sides. Go right. Go right. I can't run much more. You have to. I just passed a cord and silo. I didn't see anything else. I, yeah, me? the corn silo is nine. <laughs> yeah. Where do I go? Go right. Go right. Oh my god. My still here. Denji has oh. had enough. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Forrest. I, I love you, Molly! Yo, Molly, you better tense. you better go on a date with this kid after that shit. Time. I think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you I think wonder. She's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. For Eugene? Eugene? Inventor of eugenics? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling yeah. in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up, Forrest, Jesus so take it away. Christ. Caller, you're Bro, people have died Forrest tonight. You're you calling Forrest Nash, and for some reason, I'm still putting up a pretense hey. of this being a radio station. Wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Thank you. That's really wonderful of you to say. What's your name, Caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. What are you doing? All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're going to find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, I threw it away. Everybody, it yo, everyone, no, stop the presses. I, Check this shit out. I threw it out the window earlier today. Oh. Why did uh, you do that? Why did you throw it out the window? Was that Don today? and Ben? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. You're a child. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Damn. Bro, fire this bitch. <laughs> For shame, Peggy. For, For shame, shame, Peggy. For shame. I know. I hate her. <laughs> Let's just play a different song. No, I'll We've just got more important things to think it. about it's anyway. Fine. Gotcha. You're gonna have okay, to give me the key folks. to the exit. Here comes some unrequested music. Since Sorry we said that, all that God, shit maybe try live on the air. Sorry. David Scopo. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. You should really introduce the song before you start playing it. Nah. <laughs> of all the songs to request, I don't think it's like smart, why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Barn finds. Wrote fines. that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <gasps> Why couldn't Enough we just to request kill Brad? A man? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. What's Sorry up, Sorry to nerd. cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Forrest? Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy. 
guy now, man. Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. I'm a ghost. I, uh, why did I ever trust the guy named Master Robin? Uh, that's not important right now. Just tell me what happened. Goddamn piece of... You came from the gallows waste disposal plant. Feed on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in the dumpster. <laughs> He didn't even kill you? I'm sorry, that's... Oh, oh okay. goddamn. I'm killing him right now. How do he lock you in a dumpster? Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right Did now. Did dumpsters have God, locks? I guess they I could. Did dumpsters have now. phones? I'm gonna die. Did wait, dumpsters? Wait, yeah, no. This dude definitely doesn't have a cell phone in the 80s. Yeah. Now just Luckily, there was this Come discarded on. cell phone attached to the wire still. Hi, you can lock yes, dumpsters. I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste you Disposal say? Plant. You can lock dumpsters. Like your place it's is an emergency. wild animals. Mm, okay. Like Alaska. Like what Alaska. Mean it's not operational. Why is there no backup vehicle? Whoa. <gasps> no, my record. Oh, God damn it. Everything's just vanishing. Bitch the tires on the town's only fire engine. They yeah, it's insane it took us this long to check that out. friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Uh, Where do they live? Do need to My friend Murphy? Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old. Okay. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Sorry, who were your fucking clown friends? Uh, All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? I don't call. Where's Murphy? Where is Murphy again? Murphy's Forrest, in the really? he just waste, told disposal us he's a waste disposal plant. It was Romero okay, and what? Hey, sorry, I forgot. Uh, I didn't. Oh, Myers Lane. Myers Lane is covered by your B uh, sticker. Uh, there's someone at the west end of Myers Lane. That's pretty. Which far I think away. is Catherine. Okay. Uh, I think I don't know. A fuck. That this is dumb because there's no reason she wouldn't be able to tell us like that information again. She has a few friends who live nearby. Where do they live? Oh. Her friend Alex oh. lives on the corner oh. of Haddonfield yeah, and Romero mind. Street. These are here. Okay. Oh, you got it. Great. Corner of Haddonfield Road, right next to Romero Street. Old man lives at the east end of Myers Lane. Fire department, uh, they're fucked. Um, probably Alex, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. isn't Alex old? No, no, wait, no, no, no. it's the old man. man Jericho is the old one, surprisingly. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Alex, everyone's Murphy, awake right call now. Call Alex. All right, give me a second. Maybe I should call Brad, that fucker. <laughs> They're on the way. Oh, Catherine is the pick because the road is blocked. You can direct them from there. Whatever. Let's hope no. they get there in time. <laughs> too late, gamers. I don't care. Oh, this is a wipe. First, Fucking... I'm getting a call. <laughs> <laughs> also, can I just can I just point this out? This is a small town. It's a thousand people. Go go around the road. It'll take you forty seconds. Are you sure you can't? Oh no, I'm so worried. What's happening, Peggy? Call someone else. Alex was too far yeah. away, too slow. The plant burned down. It collapsed. <laughs> the whole it place burned, burned down? Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. <laughs> this game sucks. Oh no, why are. Just like, like his dad! Just like his dad! Yeah, <laughs> Fernando will be crushed. <laughs> Just like his dad. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh man. Forrest, that I wasn't trying to set you up for a punchline. Do the laugh track, laugh track. Oh my god. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I promise we will stop this. For you can really change the tone of this. Peggy. It's gonna man, be Fernando's Forrest, gonna be crushed. He didn't get Let's to go to the time. fair. That's what I was thinking too. After, wow. All right, folks, 
another of our good citizens is on the line. Hey man, Let's what the fuck? What to say. <laughs> Welcome to 189.16, the screen. Someone just died due to my negligence. What are you, you, what are you doing? Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Shut up, get more water. We. I know you're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife! This is not the time to promote your damn campaign. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's cool. why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... <laughs> Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. Hey, let me grab you one out of the crate. You know what? I do have a problem. What am I gonna do? A problem that's ruining our town. You're just no, such a jackass. I didn't ask about a problem. I said emergency. The problem is that woman, our current Bro, man, this would tank Linda your election campaign. Oh, here we go. She just what do you mean, here we go? You can shut off the call! <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Do you not have the power to shut up? No. Oh my God, no. Lenti! Do you think I'd be letting this happen if my buttons did anything? Your producer sounds a little unstable too. A woman, huh? Speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of. And that's enough of Hey Teddy chat, if anyone Jr. knows the game, if that guy's the killer, uh tell me now when I'm ending the stream. Talk. If the Does answer is play yes. an ad forest? I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. No, I don't have any more ads. Did I see the same one again? He's not. So is someone saying he is so they end the stream? <laughs> <laughs> hey, great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Man, I love the volume dials they gave me that don't slide the all the way down. What am I gonna do? So I can't mute this. The party is going to be over! Fear not. A grill and spray will give you a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins. A free six pack? Righteous. You heard me. Six beers if Gallus High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> me too, Billy. Oh. Come on, <laughs> on we're gonna call on five by five seven four nine eight three three five. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Oh. Caller on line one. Hey, I think we could have just had a caller on line one right away. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <laughs> Talk. Uh hello. Glad Caller. you're breathing. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Hey, Nash. how many times are we going to use this same yeah, actress? 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I... I think he's killed some of them already. That's him. The he's just outside. Man. I can see him from up here. The pie-by. Oh, the pee-pee-poo-poo -poo man. <laughs> She's just a kid, which you can tell from the fact that this is the dispatch and the lady in the house who he didn't save his voice actress. 
Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god, oh my god! Stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this! Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? This is just an elaborate prank. It's the killer calling you over and over, look, look, pretending Eric, to be different victims. I, I'm not joking. If there's no killer and this is just a punk forest, that's literally the best possible outcome this game could have. Listen to me. <laughs> We're gonna get you out. Is this Debbie Derryberry? How dare you? All right. <laughs> She's the same. <laughs> the and old great murder actors. house. Upstairs. You're in the I'm old in murder the house. There's, there's a bathroom. Where should I go? I thought it'd be funny. Oh, I don't know. Who cares, right? I guess. You don't want to go to the bedroom or closet. There's no way out. Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll... Shouldn't be at the old murder house, honestly. He's here. Don't talk to me. Forrest, I don't think we can... Don't move! I'm screaming into your phone! Yo, I love all these people who are able to move about their house on their 80s landline. Yeah. Oh no, oh no! Oh, oh no! I don't care. Hey, that's the best acting in the game so far. What? 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 Are you... Are you kidding me? Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke. Jeez. Gonna dump some pig's Wait, blood on you, Carrie. Isn't that... <laughs> that wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. Jimmy, everyone, it's really not safe to be out. Please, go home. And waste whistling night? <laughs> no way. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Don't. Especially why are you telling me? One kid died back in. <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh. Uh. Wait. Oh no. Who, uh. Who are you? Oh no, man! <laughs> Leave it's that very, meatloaf alone. It's a very cartoonish run. knife sound effect. Am I? Is this supposed to be scary? Like at all? I'm, I'm actually asking. As long as he's out there and we're in here, we're safe, right? You buy time, but not much. I'm gonna guess no. We have to. Okay. Heather, I already called the cops. Yeah. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and... <laughs> Me writing a bad video game where I'm like, oh, I need to have a murder house. I'll rename it later. Oh, I never got around to it. I guess it's the old murder house now. And like, if they're trying to like make that a joke, then they need to have the actress be like, I thought I'd be safe in the old murder house! Like, you need to go all the way and do it. Right, you need to lampshade it a little bit more. Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. The fucking asshole. Hello, is this Yukiko? <laughs> okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Great murder house. 
fight. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, Thanks there's so gotta long. be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. Genie? Genie McPherson? Genie would know what to do. Genie, the one genie? genie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all Thankfully, of us. Thankfully, there's only one she genie, but there's multiple there's Clives. There's multiple Clives. Uh, we'll see what that very popular and, name, Clive. Uh, what? Scott, you're not any good at... Uh, and... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Yeah, don't do any okay. foley to make no. this sound like someone Wait. actually talking into a phone or moving away We're from it. Plan, but everyone's volunteering to do things they're just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker, or else these idiots are gonna get us killed. But I. Shut up, you. Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. If I were the killer, I'd just be a friend. These damn kids never learn. And now one of them is dead. <laughs> Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This We've been... Goes we're, out uh, the kids out four there. for six, I think. <laughs> anyway, here's the same song. <laughs> like this next song nothing peggy because it's the last song about your friend working here an intern yeah genie seems a nice enough girl but a bit head in the clouds you know not sure why he's a fucking an bimbo idiot he really didn't have the office for one poor thing got tucked got away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs i heard we buried well, her under the floorboards hopefully she has something we can use I threw her out the window i murdered her <laughs> Peggy By said the way, the desk is downstairs. Uh, funny thing, uh, the stream hasn't been demonetized. They never are when I care. <laughs> yeah. Or when I don't, you know. Don't I, care. Peggy's office is probably that little nook. Closet thing, yeah. No, I mean in the front. Oh. <laughs> well, they're both closets, but yeah, yeah, I was right. No, I didn't mean the janitor's closet. Okay, okay. I'm going. Jeez. They really tucked Jeannie away. What is this? Rock on! Gallo's life! Why does she have a milk carton to sit her? Like, this is... Can I just get a That's chair? Yeah. This is a perfectly fine a office chair. space. Oh, whatever. No, you gotta see it's kinda shit. Okay, Jimmy and Jeannie. Oh, no, her... Whatever. Um... Awesome tattoo idea. Storm Riders. Property of Genie. Property of Genie. Okay. This doesn't really tell me anything. Uh there we go. Can I can I take this? Friendship quiz. This might work. What that was that was someone getting hit by the Oh! Another another trap at the corner. Well, we won't need this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, I, I, have a much, I have a much better, uh, I've got a much better usage for this one. Why was there a bang just then? Uh, to scare you. Hey, <laughs> God. Don't worry, Peggy, it's just to protect you. From a live bee. Is that really it? There was just a bang for no reason. No, it was really scary. What do you? It's so scary. All right. Please, I hate this lighting engine. Heather. Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Okay. Oh, hot David. Ooh. Is there a normal David? No. Sometimes you just gotta. Most likely to pass their driving test without any errors. Jimmy, uh, too bad. None of them can drive. You win an Oscar. Okay. I guess Scott. Scott can drive. He's a go-karter. 
Most likely to trip while running in a horror movie. Okay, so just none of them. Oh, never mind. Scott's the most likely to end up in a car crash. Hot David can beat you at go-karting and won't end up in a car crash. Damn, that's why he's hot, David. That's why he's hot, David. <laughs> that's pretty hot of fire. him. He's... All right. I don't care about these kids. I just want to finish this game. I mean, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I just point out that this killer has gone around, and even if there's two of them, has gone around and killed, like, or attempted to kill, like, eight or nine people in, like, one hour, but, like... The dude who lives here couldn't... Which road? Which road? Eastside McCready Street was closed. Just, like... Yeah, I guess. Um, what, Woodside Apartments? Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah, I you was... You don't get to. You don't get to. I was, uh... I wasn't gonna bring it up, but almost every character is, like, named after a famous horror thing. It's like, Carrie... Obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a there's a little shop reference on the map. Get it? Okay. It's like little hey, shop. You find anything yeah, that'll help us it. out? You yeah, play to me next. I found a friendship quiz with all these <laughs> kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carries on line one. Whenever you're ready. I've okay, got Forrest, your friendship. Shut the music off. Oh, I forgot I was playing. This is Forrest Nash back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. Oh, We're, we're deciding literally... between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Oh, so it's literally just one to one. Be... Wait, everyone just calls him Hot Heather's David? Yeah. Hot David. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two. Yeah, yeah. Heather, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Whoever wrote this, you did a really bad job. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Jennifer, Jennifer most likely to escape. Jeez, Jennifer. Jennifer! Carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier that way. Then is part four. This is a very detailed plan. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone doing to great. Take the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying oh. to decide between who was it again? Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. Oh, my boy, Hot David. Hot David. Hot David. <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh... I don't care about the rest of these, but if hot da yo, if hot you David gets hot winged, David. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill everyone in this room. <laughs> we get the eyes on the roof. I'm gonna the take a shotgun to my family if Golgi gets winged. The lock on the gate. Now That's for Will. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. I mean, you are. Part so, five. Trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Uh, uh, Lisa. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect. For you're right, Lisa. Yeah. Who I'm talking to, and not saying you're right, Lisa. I'm I'm losing it here, Lenti. <laughs> You're right, Lisa. You're right, Lisa. I'm Forrest Nash here with K91 point whatever the fuck it was. You're doing great in this uh, murder situation, Carrie. Just stay calm and everything will be fine. Should it be who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. It's Chad. Chad. 
Oh, perfect. Your go-karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. Thanks for your help. Good luck. But actually, you're about to like die. A pretty good plan. It had steps and everything. Yeah, I think they're screwed. <laughs> on air! Let's on air! <laughs> Hopefully those teens can call us from their car phone, which they have in the 80s. No, we didn't set this in the 80s oh, just for nostalgic factor. Right. And we didn't again. think about fucking anything else. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Why are, are you ready, sexy Karen? about it? Think it actually Alrighty then. Hit it. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Smarter. To the roof. Go, Heather. Get off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Good way to say that. Killer's just like Spotter sitting on a bench eating popcorn, <laughs> watching this. Smarter says go. They... He took the bait. He's, Lockpicker, he's took the bait and he can project his voice so it's right in the microphone. <laughs> Stop looking at it. Oh God. Focus. Breathe. Right. Right. The van keys. Got him. It's uh, Jennifer got the gate unlocked. Uh, uh, hot David should back in. He's a guy. Is is hot David okay? I need to know. Actually <laughs> working. You're doing great. Focus. You got this. We got this. God, I Next hate if you became dead, Trap. David. All right. Wait. So, what was the hint Everybody that meant else. that the pizza box was right, right, but the harder to find and play and get phone call for uh, the other thing was wrong? Um, it, I think it probably banked on whether they okay. won or lost. I assume they might have lost, and now, that's why it wasn't the answer. Actually, like your life depends on it. Ah. Oh. Pizza box had guaranteed free beer. Now, push the bookshelf over. Got his ass. Oh my god, he went through the floor. Nerdy proof must die. Spotter, you need to climb down now. We gotta go. He's coming down. Yes. For every point that Galahad. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yo, I love these sections where you just sit for like an ungodly amount of time. You know how in heist movies they do that thing where like they explain the plan over shots of the plan executing so they don't make you listen to the plan and then separately take twice as much time sitting there and watching the plan. Uh, Super Chat says, uh, the best part of this game is that you can assign Scott to drive the car, he crashes, and you get the golden Harry! ending anyway. What was that? It's the whistling man! Drive! Now! Just hit him with the car. Skirt! Skirt, skirt! Let me go! Oh my god. Please, no! No! I can't believe she took the phone with her that whole way. Carrie? <sighs> Long, depressed, pained, capital sigh. He just stared at me. Carrie! Carrie? Carrie! You're okay. Well, the killer is get targeting specific people. I can make it home. Thank you both for helping. 
Hang up and go. You hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. No, it was my plan. It was a great plan, Carrie. Don't forget Janie. Her friendship quiz saved the day. I told you she was the best. I need to get home. Yeah, maybe we'll get her a real chair. Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. Well, I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Doing some Toho <laughs> shit. <laughs> Folks, that yeah. Was, uh, that was a lot. Not as that a was, lot as broadcasting two live murders. That was a lot. That was a lot. You know what else is a lot? Please the amount of goodness inside. in my good friend Chadwick. What what and was his name? Fucking. Hug your kids extra Huggy tight Buttons tonight. Final Here's breath. <laughs> Robbie Stature. Robbie Walking Stature. home in the dark. Billy Hatcher. <laughs> Roddy St <laughs> Robbie Stature. <laughs> <laughs> All teens. Except Jimmy. Don't worry about Jimmy. I, hey, fuck we had a Jimmy. Call come in. I, I'm gonna say it. Time to turn the music off. What's up? Fuck Jimmy. Yeah. Hate the guy. Hate the guy. Oh, Glad he's dead. Listeners, Glad he's dead. Another caller live I'm just on going on the air live saying, the I hate screen. Jimmy and I'm glad he died. Maybe these murders hey, might have been worse. worth it after all. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for it's everyone the pizza guy again. Say, it's you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. Hang it's up, cool it's the pizza doing, guy. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. And I now consider you a friend, my man. Okay. Roll a Rickies. It's Roll a Rickies. What? You talk! <laughs> We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of No self-promo. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this- You're out there you? at two in the morning on Murder Roller Eve Once in a roller time, rink. believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Before I got flattened by a steamroller yeah. and turned into Back a then. pancake. <laughs> Rough. Now I'm roller rink. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not I wish I could bad, have a good name like Hot David. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> My friends call me Hot David, but I wasn't always Hot down. David. Yeah, I used to be lukewarm David. <laughs> lukewarm Dave. I didn't really yeah. talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. You really sound it's like a 24-year-old actor. Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems, and sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again. Found an animatronic, a real one. Now whenever I get down, Sounds like I get fucking down. Made a phone, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say, made a uh, pizza joint. It's <laughs> yeah, someone. exactly. That's the first step, ain't that right, Max? Oh, oh. Woo, woo. Aw, oh, hello, Max. Oh. Why, why, she had her you, arms in the air. She was uh, fucking uh, excited. Yeah, yeah. Marissa, uh, rate this dog's read. Dog. He's a rescue dog's dog, doing all right. Did you do better? Of course, the yeah. First thing I did was He's better than me now. A real pro. Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. Maxie loves the ring, man. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. That's the same I sound toy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see the roller ring. <gasps> what if they're moving around because they're riding Sounds on a like train? You two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great Sorry, we're gonna hold the festival tomorrow? Man, hey man, yeah. got me ain't gonna let it ruin my vibe. Before I switch my radio off for the night, can I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, 
Be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxi. You got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Yeah. Now it's time to go with the flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. This God. is their hit, I really being murdered on a Thursday. Know, after everything. <laughs> Yeah, I get that. This is it the hit much horror taste, video game. It is inspiring to hear for the Nintendo come Switch. Back from the brink like that. <laughs> Here's yeah, the song. That's what I, I meant. played Earthbound. <sighs> Their one hit wonder, voice Max actors on, stage, on Fiverr. You? Well, uh, would you look at that? <laughs> Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Forrest, I'm sorry, voice actors. You're dealing with Welcome a script here. It's the director. The scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, Collar? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Gary! Hey, I I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. Yeah, you know, I'm glad Jimmy's dead. I lost Jimmy, and I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. Bro, after I get chased by a murderer, first thing I do, call the radio station back. Just to chat. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did? Ooh. Why let me go? Maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. I... Maybe. Did he just think everyone was making fun of him? Did he always hate these hazing rituals? I, I mean, if he did, why wait all these years to... Why do this now? Oh. These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay we safe and bullying. rest. Help is That's the to theme Creek. of this game. You just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Leave that meatloaf hey, alone, course, killer. Could I request a song? Of course. As long as Peggy hasn't thrown her so. out the fucking window, you can. Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. It's called Getting Covered in Pig's Blood. Getting covered in pig's blood. Getting covered in pig's blood tonight. Covered in red you know, from my toes Carrie to my head. And I'm really, really feeling the fright. About what? The whistling you can dance if you want to. <laughs> Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. <laughs> well, It's so to easy consider. to throw shit behind the couch. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Uh, so, uh, there is something. So now, I, I think, I'm looking at a guide, because I'm like, okay. Uh, whilst you're, uh, I think you can go down and out the back door now, I think. Why? Okay. Oh, why not? Because it was locked before. I mean, yeah, but like, you know. Well, if we're gonna be out there. If not, you better take some to be safe. <laughs> if not, you Bro, won't be able to in like a few seconds, I guess. When probably. I'm 911, the thing that I'm doing all the times is walking outside Fuck. for no fucking reason. No. Okay, never mind, I think. It, it doesn't specify when it is, but like, uh, it's important That's that you go over. out at some point and grab uh, uh, that the record guess. that she threw. Yeah. So many locked doors, so few keys. And I was like, oh man, they're asking you to stretch your legs, so this is a perfect opportunity to do it now. They just. No, you're being reasonable, I get it. Yeah. Fucking pranked. What? Heh, <laughs> fucker. We are beat. Hey guys, you think Yam's the whistling man? No. Why not? <laughs> Too smart to be in this game. Hello, Damn. Mr. Jello and friends. I hope you sleep well tonight. I'm gonna be sleeping like a baby. This is the least <laughs> scary game I've ever played uh, in my life. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm gonna be thinking about that wet Let's meat get going, Peggy. <laughs> Alrighty, we could run another segment or... Scratch that for us. We have a caller. I'm the killer, ready? it's me, Shut yeah. the music off. You're through to 189.16, The, the Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Still, I'm I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks Fuck Jimmy, though. For your concern. I'm glad I killed him. Are you in him. trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted Murder. to ask you again 
to play my song for us. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Well, your name was Dawn, right? Since you were listening to us live, uh, you would have heard our explanation as to why we didn't have that song because we were on air. So it's very weird that you would be not aware that we can't play it. Well remembered. My name is Dawn. And I'm the I killer. wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Play Long my tune right. or I kill again. You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window. So you did hear it. You must really love that song. If you're calling up to ask for it when you know we don't have it. Well, I, I do love it. And I don't want to argue, but... Couldn't you, you just go it. fucking it's outside? just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to Is it called it. that on the map? It's gotta be this, right? Yep. He's fast. <laughs> Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's going to be next. What? Me? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. Don't worry. Uh, I'm armed. Well, folks, <laughs> music for you. What, you don't go. Oh, no, sorry. Calm down. You can't take it away from that. Dun 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 you, you have to press the Peggy button? She's serious, Peggy? No. She's no. Serious I don't know why there's a Peggy song. button. That's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about me? I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth... Peggy, how about you fucking go get the record? You fucking there, threw it outside. There, there's a mouse trap in front of her door. I don't know what... <laughs> she can't leave. There. Can I go? No, there's probably dialogue. Uh, yeah. Well, then why did you? Oh, okay. Why don't you go? Why don't you go? No, I. That'll take longer. There'll You're be more dialogue. You're a good man, Forrest. I'll slide you the key. Why did you say it like you didn't believe that? Wait, <laughs> You're. Our You're all right, Forrest. Unlocked? Yeah. It. Uh. You know, I never thought about it, but yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Fuck you. Anyway, I'll hold the board down while you're out. You know, Maybe Peggy. Get a caller. That like, be I think, I think you're you're beyond this job. I, I think you know, With me. Hot David would do it better. Yeah, Hot David should really work here. <laughs> Which one of these <laughs> is the key? key. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Fire door key. I love that they like were like. All the doors have to. Oh no, okay, that was a different building. Uh, where all the doors had to be locked for a fire code, and then the exact. Uh, I misremembered. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, imagine. Anyway, a, you a think they're gonna scare you the same way? I mean, I was technically no because I haven't been scared yet. Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's a light door. Wait, this is from the. I hope she'll be happy when I'm really murdered by the whistling man. Out here. This is from the intro where the whistling man killed the man. Whoa. Remember yeah, this really looks like a small stairs? town in Alaska. Bro, that's the, the fucking that's the fucking antenna from my friendly neighborhood up there. Let's go into there. <laughs> yeah, better game. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. Whatever. Yeah, all right, get out of here. You fucker. Here it is. Even Long how this place home. is constructed, it's not a small town. No, it's a small yeah. town, Piff. These, these were the assets that were free on the 3D store. Uh, look, size is relative. It's not about the size of your town. Of course. It locks behind Yeah, it's the about the motion of the ocean. It work on this side. Fantastic. Uh, it doesn't even have a handle. Maybe there's what? another way back in through the basement. A, a door. A boss monte. Something. Why is there a freight elevator? Can you hit that button? No, I, it, it wouldn't let me Like, before. I think there's like... I think the killer is using like tunnels. Oh. Yeah, it's fun. And I... that's broken too. Only the best for K-Fan. Mm -hmm. See if I can fix this. Looks like a power like, issue. Look how, 
<gasps> Hell, all right, we're set. Wait, <laughs> uh, he's fucked now. Uh, mm -hmm. good luck, motherfucker. <laughs> Happen to be loaded with the best weapon. Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ! God, what fuck. am I doing? All right, well he won't be able to get me from this Wait, angle. There's, there's, there's another mouse trap on the box back there. Oh shit! Oh! Wait, no, that's not a mouse trap. Fuck! I, sorry, fuse. I thought. You know how you leave cheese. your fuses out in your Alaskan alleyway? I need these to fix Foxy. Let's go. All right, is there a, a fuse box somewhere? But like, the killer is definitely using like secret tunnels underneath the city plus the train to like move around. So it seems like a lot of the places that he's like killing is on like the outskirts of town, following like the train track. See again, you're you're out here thinking open. I hate the way you open doors in this game. I won't go into Dude. explaining. <sighs> cool, love this system. Looks really like good. I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. It's a horror game. <laughs> fuses. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fix the fuses. Gotta fix fuses. I gotta, it's I gotta a... play a game of pipes and connect the pipes, and then um, yeah. uh, the fucking Jello, goo will go through. This is an indie game about mental health. <laughs> At least those are trying to say something. <laughs> Thank God. Just making sure. No, well, hang on. I want to make sure it's facing him when it... No, no. <laughs> Shit. It is Hello. This game's trying Jello. to say something too. We've already established this is an anti-bullying game. You're yeah. Right. Those kids. ones are. Do you need green ones specifically? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, these I bet are it's yellow the and red. The, the thingy. Yeah. Oh, does oh, it does say no. like you need a certain voltage oh, or something? 70. 70. 70. Uh, okay, yeah. so what are these guys? Uh, well, okay, that's. That's a rusted little fucking bitch. Oh, right those there. are all five. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. I can't even put it in the top slot. Cool. Don't you know how fuses work, Killer? This one just doesn't go in anywhere. I'm just wait, hang on, I'm curious about something. No, this is just here no. for aesthetics. Okay. What, the, what the fuck? Do they have to be green? I can't what? put them back. Oh there we go. Oh. Oh, oh all there right. you go. You got it. That, I won't explain. It it's odd. Okay. Yeah, you have to hover over the middle rather than the sides. No, you have to hold it in a specific way. Come on. Wow, yeah. meth needle. Hang on, I got it. No, but you need. To... Oh. Does that not? Bingo. Okay. Bingo, Swifty Five. Let's go. Yeah. Can I just? point out also that like the guy here way too early in this little segment should have been near the end where's my mouse trap it's fine I won't need it <laughs> oh thank god I was bluffing god, god, god. <laughs> give me the mouse trap I could probably survive that fall it's like oh it's like yeah. three feet <laughs> what do you mean? relax man Wait, am I, I trapped because I went dude. down before hitting the button? <laughs> oh my god, come on! Oh... You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Mousetrap, you gotta get me out of here, bro! <laughs> Are you stuck now? Wait... Are you serious? Oh, is there a crouch? Um... There is a crouch! You... I forgot, because oh, why the god. fuck would I why, need... Why would you need that? Oh man, I thought you were soft line. I mean, I fully did. It looks like the janitor's closet. I what could probably Eddie survive that drop. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he gets trapped forever. It's only half my height. Oh what my god. <laughs> what was that <laughs> sound effect? Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. You found the se Why would he have a secret killer basement in the place he works, not his house? What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Why did it make that noise? That's the noise of like you fail. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, this is really funny. Don't worry, you won't be able to sneak we in behind that, me. Wait, is that a dude like crawling out like under the desk? Yeah. Why yeah. does it look like that? There's a key. I'll just take You know. That. Might be important. This is oh, you know. mid murder planning head. Why do you got a lot of photos of the same, same photo. 
This is so strange. Why does Vixen know so much about FNAF? Because I'm mentally ill, Chatter. Oh, hell yeah. No. Hell yeah. It's about mental illness. <laughs> Go on. That's, that's the theme. Yeah. So no head? I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so head? <laughs> so head? Chuck Brody. Call donations to help. I'm sorry, your donation drive is to buy lottery tickets? That's Oof. not a good idea. Kim Walker. Rebecca Allen. Stop making noises. No one's sneaking in. I put a mouse trap there. <laughs> I'm reading your Laura. Okay, so I imagine for every person we've saved, maybe we get a piece of lore. Who cares? Um, do I care enough to read this? No. Chat, tell me what's up. This game hasn't earned me. <laughs> Peggy, check this shit out. <laughs> Yo, Peggy. Yo, Peggy, catch! Nice one. Dude, Forrest is so weak. He's just like, oh, I can't survive that fall. It's so, like he tosses things yeah. and it's just like... <laughs> Not great. I wonder how the show's going. I mean... Peggy, uh, I noticed that uh, the whistling man has a head mannequin under the desk. Oh, maybe you know if we're lucky, saying. she'll be fucking dead. That Why don't I get any such privileges? That didn't even uh, occur to me that she might be no. dead. No, you put a mousetrap in front of the door. Uh, that door? I put a mousetrap behind me, but now there's a basement that's open. He no, just... you put a mousetrap in front of Peggy's door. Yeah, for Peggy. It was calibrated to <laughs> Peggy's DNA. I, think... <laughs> I know, but it can work both ways. Don't worry. <laughs> the mousetrap's still there. We don't have a thing to worry Isn't about. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for Jesus Forrest. How are you playing songs in there? I thought something had happened. Why didn't something you come did look happen. for me then? Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. What? Yeah, he might Start be. From the, beginning, the, uh, the fire door lock. We don't have time for all this. Jello, the record, the record, Jello. Why did you I, keep I that it. thing all uh, the way the, up? The, rec the record it's automatically, like, the, yeah. It's in here. It's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy janitor, who you think is the creepy whistling. The, man. the, the when you emphasize a single word! Are the names Chuck Brody, the. Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen and Aunt Williams. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target? That's right. And we've got to find him. This thing you drops said there like are a four brick. locations listed there too: the hospital, Bunk. the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Great. Forest, you're gonna have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Oh, what well, I have to do? I need help. You do it. For How's me. it going? I, I don't know. I could use some help. Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four. Oh, locations it teleported tonight. all the shit here. Okay. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some way, connections between I see that the Will's not in the TI that recording anymore. Want me to try to get in contact with him? Oh, it's so late stuff. in the game. I don't know if we should make yeah. ruin Will's evening. Um, <laughs> True. Okay. Uh, car club. Car club. Improv club. A town this small doesn't have an improv team. That's Ashton Kutcher. That's that 70s show era Ashton Kutcher. Okay. Uh, it's the 80s. I, I'm sorry. I can't pick this up and put. 
Really? What, what's the and point? put it over there. All right, fine. Hospital. Is it also named after a Silent Hill hospital? Oh, you know what? Tell hey, Aloha, what? you were looking at the guide, right? Just tell me the answer. Uh, let's see. Um, so it's the thing, blah, blah, blah. A puzzle, uh, solve, pu solving puzzles in Clive's room. Sure. Uh, After Clive's room. Yeah, let's see. Um, uh, return to the general closet to find the basement key on the wall. Head into the basement to be storage, left quarter, uh, where you normally go back to the reception desk. A tape and Polaroid photo can be found on the desk, uh, on the left that you should listen to. Wait. I can't leave. Oh, wait, let me, let me see. Just look uh, at, like, the next pray, time I uh, talk to Peggy. The next victim on the list is Chuck Brody, deciphered by the bulletin board info offered up by Clive the Janitor. You need to select the gas station as the location of, Ch uh, of uh, Chuck, where the yes, whistling please. man is likely to target. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes oh, by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. How's it going? I I got it. I'm ready. ready. I have yeah. Walked Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. Why do we only have one shot at this? I'm sure. Let's Those are do stakes, this. Jello. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Manfred von Karma. Chuck, Chuck Brody. Brody. And where will I find them? Gas station. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. At 3 a.m. Wait, hey, man. Sometimes you gotta gas it up. Fun stuff you learn from reading the internet. A bunch of major characters sh share the same voice actress. Dude, I know. I told you already. <laughs> they were all the same woman. And then it was like, oh, this poor kid. I'm like, that's the adult woman <laughs> we were just talking to. Oh, Chuck Brody. Listen. Chuck Brody. Sounds crazy, but we have I know it's three in the morning. Man is coming for you. you on your Brody you quest? Yourself and everyone else bow, 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 right bow. The whistling man? Who is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen. This is Forrest Nash. We found a list with your name on it. The fuck? Oh God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I. Quit talking and run. I. I think he ran off. Good. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck. Jeez. <laughs> It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? Yeah, he I, blew up the building. I... Is Oh, we Chuck? failed. I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. It's me. I'm on fire. Oh, oh. no. He's fine. Chuck? Chuck! Chuck! How you doing, Chuck. buddy? What's going on? Damn gas station's gone up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. Everyone? Who is in the gas station? To hell, though. Uh, hot David. Yeah. No, not Hot David! Yeah, hot David, you can't be near gas station pumps! You're too hot! I'm to get to the hospital. <laughs> I'm not feeling great. Forrest, man. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. Just real I quick on go. my end. Uh, I'm going to see I... if I can beat uh, the last week by not doing anything. Oh, Forrest, I'm gonna the call board is lighting up. You can. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Careful with this next track, listeners. It's dynamite. Forest. No one died this time. Get over it. Fine. <laughs> Jeez, lighten up. Much like they lit that gas station on fi f f on fire. Fire. Whoa. No! Peggy, you see this shit? <laughs> There's you gotta be shit, more Peggy? in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of Why it. Why does he work Stop here? Stop the killings before they can happen. Forest. We need to go back down. Because By you mean it's me. real hard to hire people. No one wants yep. to work nowadays. Like said, you have to hire to creepy Clive. Maybe start That's with that creepy name. mannequin room you mentioned. <laughs> Poor guy. I still have a lot of questions <laughs> about those, hot by David. the way. Couldn't be hot David. If it were hot David, I'd scream. I'd be so sad. I'd be, it's, what a twist. <laughs> yeah, I know. Gotta go back down to the creepy basement. <laughs> Uh, 
So Aloha and I were considering doing like an October special where I play a bunch of horror games and we, we see like we keep a running tally. Maybe it can be like a month long donathon where any time a game scares me I have to donate a thousand dollars. You have to go to the basement. So where was that thing, no. Aloha? Uh, it's uh, in the janitor's closet. Oh, okay. Uh, to find the basement key on the wall. I already found uh, that. There's a Polaroid, you said. Uh, head into the basement storage via the door on the left of, at the corridor, where you would normally go right to go back to the reception desk. Oh, that's in the so other... I guess it's, yeah. That's the yeah, other place. You, get... you picked up yeah. the key, right? Yeah, the the key okay. you have to pick it up. It unlocks like this door. No, I think it means that door. No, back on the other side. I mean, I did already pick up a basement key, and it was called the basement key. Yeah, but that's the door you want to get through, like straight ahead of you. Okay, I I just think the thing that Aloha is reading to me is not the right thing. Yeah, the janitor closet where you, what you thought was, <laughs> I think that's what they might be talking Sorry. about. Sorry, and then you said, instead of going to the receptionist desk, what? Yeah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, head into in the there. basement storage via the door on the left at the corridor where you would normally go right to go back to the reception desk. Uh, a tape and Polaroid can be found on the desk on the left that you should listen to. All right, whatever, I'll just There are a lot there. of secrets to find in the basement, so be sure to check everywhere to learn all about Clive. I'm not gonna do that. Um, all right. Are there any mouse traps down here? I'm not playing Aoni. I've watched through it before. God. Also, its puzzles are terrible. It's got an interesting fan remake, though, that's worth a look. And by that I mean for you, I'm also not gonna be streaming that. <laughs> Alright, we're still oh, safe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh a tape key. and Polaroid can be found. Is this always here? A key somewhere. I must have missed yeah. it when I brought everything upstairs. Where? Wait, uh... did, did I just get it for free? Yes, it just handed it to me. Alright, Polaroid. Whoa, an invisible key. A key? What the? A ghost? A bear? Okay, so you found the basement key on the wall. Head okay. into the basement storage via the door. Yeah. Yeah, was there something else I needed in here? No, not right. according to the guide. Uh, uh, head into the basement storage via the door on the left at the corridor. Yeah. Hey, uh, a tape and Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Sorry. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A, a map, map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Buzz the intercom yeah. if you find something and want to discuss it. And there's the Polaroid, and there's other stuff you can find in here, but that just points you to an answer I can just give you later. <gasps> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! We're safe. Now we're safe. It's over here. Yo, when are you gonna make an RPG Maker horror game where you have to, like, place Reference down mousetraps to make <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you played Earthbound, right? You love Earthbound. <sighs> Can I not yeah, take this? Full. Okay, yeah. You can, yeah. It's weird that things don't highlight when your hands are full. Okay. Use the full report to find the next clue about Should five. That first tape you found. Oh, is there a tape player down here? Oh, this is it. Sorry, the light's not hitting the button, so I didn't see it. Yeah. George Ballow, 1968. Okay. Okay. I gave you all the clues. George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Oh, yeah, him. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. Hey, Forrest, why are you doing this? I guess that's what this map is about. What else are you going to do at 2.40 a.m.? What else is hidden down here? I'm trying. Be careful, Forrest. Keep 
looking. Come oh, on. Worry, found we have a mouse trap. Oh my god. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from Me talking like this. Just Time repeat. Shut up. Okay. Can yeah. you figure out the math? I don't really want to. Is the I don't. I just don't care. This is a lot of wasted space in this radio set. Yeah, glue. Glue. You can glue them to the mouse trap. Hang on. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Five seconds of each other, she'll be aborted. Okay, make a mistake, stop, press the thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, a security system. It must dispense mouse traps all over the place. Please change these codes immediately. Okay. Great. Well, I obviously got to keep that in my hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll need that later. I love having two hands and nothing else. <laughs> okay. The security delivery information. Okay. Okay, I don't care. Ah! Yeah, you can play sounds, stinger. it's not scary. The fuck is this? Printer ink? I don't know. A pack of BHSs? Um. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Slam my dick in a car door! You slammed your penis in the car door! Yeah, that's the joke. This is too big. For this building in a town of a thousand people. Oh, <gasps> fuck yeah. Oh, oh my god, which do I take? You'll need the manual. Great. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was I'm a bad guy. <laughs> That's the Grill Reaper, dude. <laughs> if you're listening to this, what the map? I'm probably dead. What the? I'm a man who likes to stay informed. <laughs> it's me, Frank Fontaine, <laughs> secret villain of the fucking Bioshock. <laughs> Dirty poopies. <laughs> newspapers all over the country. A few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers, one after the other. Each Is a man not entitled to the radio station of his brow? It's Christopher Sabbath. I love that guy. But I don't think we deserve killing. Oh, I hope now that I can save some folk from the world. Shouldn't live in a place called Gallows Creek, homie. Ooh. 
a new vinyl. Ooh, a vinyl that. ignores what's going on. I didn't kill <laughs> Someone in chat says, ah, Gallows Creek right next to Noose Neighborhood. It actually, it's not next to anything. Apparently, the closest town is three hours away. Embarrassing if no one ever this. found or heard that tape. You're talking to no one, my man. Damn. Why is this in the radio station instead of his house? Because this game takes place in a radio station. So when are we getting the James... The, the James... The game's only jump scare. Oh. Other than the extremely loud sound effect. Found some shit. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. Well, I, I mean, almost everyone's voiced by the same people in Seriously? this town. Do you think you've met her before? There's only two named I women. Mean, who do you think it is? I just got here recently. I don't know found another tape that talks more about how George died. Who's George? I'm not paying attention. It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting He's the guy that and drowned, bushes, I think. Getting cut off. Yeah, but who is he? What would drive someone to do that? Mm. I'm not sure yet. The real question. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got cut boyfriend, in a apparently. car door. A oh. car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? He slammed his How penis in the tell? car door. I'm a radio um, couldn't satisfy Dawn anymore. Now she's pissed. In another tape, the and she's out for comes revenge. To the same conclusion as I, I solved it. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Why were the tapes Maybe, separated? But then there's this next bit where the coroner <laughs> thinks he's a brick post death. Moved the body? How weird. <laughs> At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded the doctor. Dr. Yeah. Sullivan? Car door, hook the hand. Stop recording. Then who was phone? Sullivan. Wait, Virginia Sullivan? She was her caller from earlier. Well, then our caller was involved in the Ooh, conspiracy around this boy's death. <sighs> if only she had made it. Jill, found a new game to then entertain might have learned more about what's going I'm on. I'm trying real it's hard. okay. We did what we could. The takeout idea was a long shot as it was. I um, I think I found Clive's last recording. Yeah, this should all Clive be separate be entries. I found a confession, not for I'm gonna killings, get a snack, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You? Do you think the whistling man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but. Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. Man, you know, and like, sometimes were getting closer to these voice Gallows actors Creek. crack out a really good read, but then other times they're reading everything book. super fucking slow. I, it must be the director. It's the director. Yeah, no. It's got to be the director. The director's terrible. I don't even know if there was one. Game. I'm going to be honest. I don't think there was one. He said I saw someone in chat saying that there was someone credited. He spoke out about any of it. Is it also the writer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? I don't know. Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think you found everything for us? I assume they just explained this. Whatever. I need to find all the tapes. I think so. How much did Clive hide down there? 
Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay, I guess I didn't find all the tapes. I got that one. I got this yeah, one. I made that... I made that Fiverr joke earlier, but when when a game has consistently bad voice acting, it's almost always the director's fault. It's the fault. director. Is this? Or. I can't see. It's a director being hamstrung by a client who doesn't understand what good voice acting is. Yeah. That's your other option. You need to find a toxicology report. Yeah. Okay. The only thing toxic is this game. Ayo, got him. How am I supposed to be as funny as Aloha? Yeah. <laughs> you should just give me the channel. <laughs> just give me all your money. Bro, I was in an indie game once that had its voice acting critiqued, and the director would go onto videos critiquing it and yell at people in the comments about how he did his best. Sounds like a loser. Say la vie. Okay. This is a unique asset. I haven't seen this one before, but I guess it's not the toxicology report. Man, dude. Hey, a pen. Is this it? Is this the toxicology report? <laughs> Did I find it? <laughs> Does it say how many tapes there are? No, but no, there's I meant at least one more. No, I meant guide. Oh. They don't tell me where the tapes are. This guy. How, how many are there? Does it say? Uh, if you find all the correct information, autopsy and toxicology reports, it should lead you back to. Oh, this oh, you found has it. to be important. Yeah. One more thing. Uh, one more thing. I'm not gonna read that. Yeah. So you know that Peggy is live this whole time. Yeah. I don't know if she's like talking to the fans. Or, what did you like... found, Forrest? I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? According know. to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. The drinking and drowning matches with what I heard, but... There's also a note scrawled onto the report. It says this I'm is bullshit. sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. We figured that out already. Wait. The caller from earlier. We figured Let this me have out. To call the takeout restaurant. Wasn't her name Virginia? Yes. Do you think you found everything, Forrest? I think there's got to be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. You think so? Oh my God! Why is hide down there? Good video game. Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems Shut to be the case. Up. All right then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Did you leave the map somewhere? I mean, the there, maps yeah. just point to the extremely visible tapes. Like, the tapes, the tape recorders glow. They're like the only thing that you can see in the dark. The maps are harder to find. And also, I only found like two maps and there's like five tapes. Clive had the run of the place. He just put tapes um, everywhere. What is that what little Hawawa from? It's the tenth, I think, opening of Black Clover. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. Tape next to where that report was? No, I already I did this one. You did I that found one? this tape and then missed the report. It's the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased. I don't know where it would be. I feel like I've looked everywhere. Unless there's unless I can go back to the other rooms. If you're listening to this, then I'm a dead guy. A man who likes to stay in the floor. 
Oh yeah, if you're dead, how are you speaking right now? Uh, checkmate. Uh, plot hole alert. Plot hole alert. I feel like we've got enough info. Like, what, what do you think we're going to get in this last tape that's going to be so mind-shattering, right? Come on, game designers. What were they thinking? <laughs> Killing <laughs> somebody? <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> you're not supposed to kill people. <laughs> What were they thinking? <laughs> I think that's just that. Like, yeah, that's the toxicology report in the tape. I don't even understand the point of the maps. They're harder to find than the tapes they lead to. Except this one mystical tape. Uh, Clive is still talking somewhere in the distance. One of these days, I want to see a game where you watch a if you're hearing this, I'm already dead tape, and the guy who recorded it is like there and he's like embarrassed about it. <laughs> That's really I think funny. this is the last one. <laughs> Speaking of good anime openings, this is the first opening of the 2022 20, Urusei Yatsura anime. Um, it made it past the first one. round, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we got that one. There's also a tape about a toxicology God, I can't report. wait to hear them there talk no about this tape. That he was on no fading to black or anything. But everyone said he went hey. swimming drunk and drowned. It was hey, YouTube. And if you want to hear people talk about know, things for hour that, hours, that's way more entertaining right. than this, uh, make sure to subscribe to the, the Patreon. Dello talks about the a lot of things on the Patreon for hours. There's, case. let me tell you, because there's no mouse traps guarding the way to our Patreon. It's wide <laughs> open. <laughs> it's wide open. I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Nothing. Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they it's hired like, Clive to make it that way. I don't think it's a good mystery Sounds if you like have to like exposit ready. the entire like plot in like a, an area that you're trapped in. You know, like it's just like uh, like we didn't piece anything together. We, we just got all this information in one guy, giant. We're running clump. out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? You shouldn't be keeping the show going. Just play Beats music. But we we have four to... records. <sighs> You're plenty. right. So just keep playing. What's them. the plan now? Uh, radio stations never overplay a singular song. We could try song. Sandra. What would Sandra know? The fuck I is don't Sandra? know, but we have to start somewhere. Anyway. Just be Sandra careful when you're talking. Get her on the horn. Don't no, push No, she was too in hard. this game. It would sound better than this. We don't want her to hang this. up. I'll be careful. All right, calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio at 3 a.m. Aha, Forrest, you're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Figured I'd pick up and be a little perky given what's been going on. It's of 189.16, The Scream. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. This lady is actually my favorite actress in the game. Uh, well, yeah, she's cute. <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. Are you the but killer? Of course, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you ask. Whoa, whoa, hang on. Ooh, no, we're hey. in. We're in. Yeah, <laughs> why, nice. why, why were you targeted? Do you know why the whistling man might have targeted you? Well, I'm ha. a bit of a scam. <laughs> knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He'd have chased after anybody. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Uh, don't why, uh... Me, bitch. Have you had to keep quiet about anything? Any secrets you've had to keep? We're not live. What would I have to keep quiet about? I don't know. I mean, well, why'd your accent go away, for one thing? Heard something. I consume I my accent anything. for its power. But even if I did, what would that matter? And, and it was years ago. 
Drop the axe, Sandra. You know something. <laughs> Fuck you, you, Sandra. Hiding? I don't know anything. <laughs> I. I. Oh, look at the time. It sure is late. I have to go. I'll drive home now or just. drive. I'm sorry. Well. I might have gone a bit. All right, all right. I yelled at her. All right, all right. Let's that just, just happened. Move on. Well, folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts on what's going on tonight, please call in. You seem hesitant That's to admit timing. you know something live on a public a radio where you're under threat of death. Why is that? <laughs> Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Boris. I know this is really out of the blue. Oh, my Every God. Dracula. Pizza place. But I wondered if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. Why don't you call back when it's not three in the morning? No. No? I don't want to. Oh, come on. It's his birthday. I won't uh, let uh, him uh. do it again until <laughs> He's next just year. a little guy. He is well, Forrest. Peggy. Uh, fine. What's his name? Thank you, Boris. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter. But he never liked his name. But Is this what it feels like to be Cassandra, just knowing things hair. before they happen and watching the bullet slowly aim Fox towards you? Always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my god damn it! Yes! Tell him he can get the best birthday deals of party packages here at Pony's Pizza! Start a You son of a bitch! Stop calling us! Damn it, Peggy, this is your fault. My fault? Yes! I said I didn't want to do it. Don't blame me because Brian Ponty can't control himself. Girl, uh, you monitor the calls. Don't worry. We've already got another caller on the line. Just pick it up, okay? It's me, this Brian Ponty! The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. <laughs> caller. <laughs> caller. I'm glad there's cool tunes playing. Ponty. I'm Ponty's Pizza always delivers. Come rain or sleet or whistling man, we'll be there. <laughs> Forest? Forest? Are you okay? <sighs> so mad I could kill. I hope the whistling man gets him with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forrest. Sorry, sorry. That was that was too much. It's okay. It's, been a it's all right. Night. Don't, Don't worry about, about it. Me, okay. Murder is fine. Anyway. You I matter. Spent for now. We've got another She's call. She's so perky. Whenever you're ready. I hate her. I'm looking Peggy directly in the eyes. Doesn't matter if someone just died, almost died. I suppose I should take this call. No? Should we? No. No, I don't. Mm. Hey, don't Peggy, while you're off the air, why don't you check who's calling first, huh? No, I gotta do this. Folks, don't spend your money at Connie's <laughs> Pizza. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16, The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Don? We played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? Uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling because I need your help. I'm like a little, I'm a little killer. <laughs> Don, we had a deal, kept my end. Who is the next target? Your uh, next target like is Pawnee's oh, Pizza! Oh, fine. Chuck Brody was the next target, but that ship sailed. How did you know it was Chuck? Well, if I tell you, I might just put more people in danger. People are already in danger. This might help. Of course, I don't have time. I need your help. Do you mean... Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. You? He must have heard me on the radio helping you. Right. Helping. Okay. 
Overstatement. Tell us everything. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next. Yeah, what after lead? Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. So I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system had me locked out. I need really? you to help me get inside. Starling 4000, user manual. So she's for sure lying uh, and breaking into someone's house to kill them, should right? Come in handy. Yeah. So, uh, basically, uh, you have to, you, uh, give her wrong, the wrong instructions. Don't you have a key to get in? Only for the apartment door. The front gate requires an entry code. In the 80s? No, it it's doesn't. I guess. No, it doesn't in the that 80s. Get out of here with Which that shit. Do you live in? <laughs> Maybe one of our listeners lives in Oh, my too. God. Serial killing it's was free in the 80s. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. Shut up. Shit. I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. It's my neighbor's dog. Boy, I wish he'd muzzle that thing and oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. This night can't get any. So. Pretty much, uh, the alarm. Earlier on, earlier on, uh, I'm gonna die. Earlier on, uh, you got the call from the roller rink guy saying he got, he was setting up a new security system. Yeah. And the roller rink is next to the train tracks. Yeah. 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 So it's brand new. The code's What's haven't the been changed. The security system. Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000 keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six-digit number. We'll see what we can do. Thank you, Forrest. Yeah. yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. At least her. Thank you, Forrest. I don't hate this I actress either. Like I'll she's laying it on a little thick, but I'll she's got a good soon. sound. Uh, all right, folks. Yeah. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy. You well, don't need. I, to, I have it. To break Dawn yeah. into her apartment. Could you not put in a check to see if I have the item already on the stand? You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something... It wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. Yeah. Well, tell you what. We have a Starling 4000, or whatever, here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who. But to help someone. Okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments, and somewhere, Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Turn the music off. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? No, you just have to Starling wait. Starling 4000 security manual. Uh, it's got a bunch video of Video games. Good. Video and did you find games. anything else? Yeah, don't worry, else? Chad, I got Nothing it. Except the manual. All right. Well, I'll get Dom back on the line then. Forest. All right, I'll post Thanks, Peggy. <laughs> Did you finish it? Yeah. When you're ready, shut the music off. Line one, whenever you're ready. Why is there a line two? Done. Are you there? You press it once. Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Stream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? The alarm test activation code. The code is 191. Five one nine. Thank you, Forrest. I'm a bad guy. Well, on my side, that'll be it for my stream. If you want to check out more ah. stuff? There's Jello Apocalypse on YouTube streaming. We got some great audio going on right Is now. She? Let's do nothing. Let's not react to this out loud. Yeah, stay out! Nobody disrespects the sanctity of the ring! Roller Ricky's not ironically the best character in this game. I'm calling the cops! There's no cops. Thank God. Hello? Is someone there? Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him! That was the whistling man. The 
the alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. I don't like hurting folk, but I can't let anything happen to Maxi. He's my best friend, you know? I... Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. I'm gonna barricade that window. My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want, forever. That's a done deal. Peggy. I... Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. You got it. Talk to you soon. Okay, Gallows Wolf. Here's some music while we process what just happened. <laughs> now I can actually like listen to this audio. It's the game's almost over. <laughs> I'm gonna listen, still listen to it though. Are we gonna put on no, some David can't. Scopo for our good friend Ricky? So the whistling man is a woman. <laughs> I had my suspicion. Yeah, I worked it out a while yeah, ago. I worked it out a while ago. Yeah, sure, Forrest. You just never mentioned it. She yeah, called up. I didn't want to spoil you spoke anything. to her multiple times. I could tell she was evil. Uh, women, am I right? I knew she wasn't right. Is that right, Sherlock? Don't be a bitch Why do you about think it. she requested that song? <laughs> I mean, maybe she actually wanted it. Could be her favorite killing song. Ugh, that's awful. I so, hate killing. What now? I guess I Ugh. should make an announcement. <laughs> we do have new info. Okay, you're live in three, two. Hey, folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take it's the eye of the tiger. We now believe the killer is actually a woman. One who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. She's like a, a vampire. In Chicago. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. Say some mean English shit. The killer was calling themselves Don. M. Bennett. Oh, sorry. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. Hello, my you name is have my new number, Dusk. Right? It's 911. <laughs> Did you want Dusk and Dawn? It's my hope fault. Shed some light on our <laughs> hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. My name is Casey Moore. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's he's bleeding everywhere. Match this what lady to do. again. Please huh? help me. Easy, easy. Take a breath. Relax. Okay. Okay. We've been out at the reservoir. <laughs> we were heading back to his place when we heard this whistle. This game's not over, up. huh? He just started freaking nah. out. This is he screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that, and I Bush. And I stabbed oh, him. No. Forrest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person. And they just stabbed him. Can you imagine? Casey, was his attacker the whistling man? The who? They had a mask and wore all black? That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know. No, you won't. Where did the masked person go? They left! They left him to bleed out! I waited until Starting to gone. miss the quiet man, says chat. Alright, let's not go crazy. <laughs> Though the quiet man is only like two hours. I don't know. It's three hours. <laughs> you know exactly. <laughs> it's not so funny now, is it? Before they left, but please. Thought you didn't see or hear anything. Forest. Oh, an ambulance. The ambulance was destroyed ambulance. in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. Can you tell us where your friend was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach. Oh, he's dead. And then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground, and it's. Oh, the knife is still there in his leg. Okay, What's your friend's in. name, Casey? It's Jason. Jason Parker. We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. 
Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Sorry, Hi, you guys still have a caller? Why are we doing this? A stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh god, I'm sorry. The ambulance is... Well, you know. Guys, I know. Ambulance? Ambulance. Yeah. With an E. Oh, but no, they please. got an accent. We need they say ambulance. Or he's going to die. Ambulance. Forrest, I'm I... Listen, you're going to have to get him here. We need to see him and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right. All right. So you guys like have ambulances, right? Time to get here. But you don't have that like cars that you use to drive to work. No. Finding someone to stabilize no. him. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. Uh, also not there. Damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All yeah. I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, who? and then leave the rest to you. What's more critical than a, a stab wound? <laughs> Hit me. I'm sure we can handle it. Okay, from the Hit top, me. if he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it, I think. You said he was stabbed, right? If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, don't take it out. It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. God, that was a lot of info. But I think we can handle no, this. No, it wasn't. I'm glad you got it so far, because there's more to go. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If only we had some if way to lost record. A lot of blood, he may enter shock. Oh, well. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. <sighs> All right. Uh, don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. This Give him a little. Can you imagine if you were playing this in VR, where half right of this now. is just standing and listening? Bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized. Yeah, but you can play funny games like tossing yourself the, the head. Alright, Forrest. Casey's still online. You can give yourself one. head jello. Could we not have transferred the nurse to Casey? Why are we playing middleman here? Hello? Hello? Forrest, are you there? Nope. Jason? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. I need help. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. But he's still bleeding. I don't know what to do. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his leg? It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it out? Should I do that? No, don't touch the knife. No, idiot. <laughs> no. Are you sure? No. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. You're doing We're so good. We're all going to get Jason through it's this. The 80s, but Casey, only one could is his leg it. wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up on top of the Wait, you're in a house? On the hood of the car. Yeah, I thought they were outside. I thought they were like out in the near the woods. Yeah. I guess I've got my jacket. Use the clean rags. Use the clean rags. The clean, rags. Are cleaning rags, not clean rags. Oh, okay. I mean, cleaning rags would have to be. Oh, clean. then you lose use the laundry then. Look in the laundry for something like a towel or a shirt. Hold that over the wound. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to buy you some new whites, Jason. Here we go. Luckily, I'm... Uh, uh. I'm sorry, Jason. It's <laughs> secure. I'm putting pressure on his stomach again. I'm starting to think we might make it. Forrest, can I have a word? <sighs> what the fuck, Peggy? the best time, Peggy. Can it wait? Forrest, it's kind of important. All right. Give me a second. Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Peggy. 
keep putting that pressure on. Can I hear that new album again from Jumby Junkins control. or whatever his fucking name was? Great. <laughs> but what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything, and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. <laughs> Careful, Jason might die of overly Jason, folksy. Please be okay. <laughs> We were out here whittling. What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. Girl, what if other people girl, need us? shut up. We're talking to someone people through need first us? aid. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Any suggestions, Peggy? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? I never mind. So, how does KFAM's Terrible first read. aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah. Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any well, of them could help Casey shit. and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called How Karen. About a phone book? Everybody's personnel What a info great is fucking suggestion, Peggy. Office. I'm glad you have Got no it. information. I'll their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. I have the key but for some reason. there are a reason. couple of problems with that. Naturally. It's sensitive information, so Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Great. Do you have Is any there any way to get Peggy killed the in this game? Be? Not a clue. Reggie's oh. a serial note taker, though. A serial what? Maybe something in Killer? his will give it away. Right. Serial leader. He loves cereal. Something else. Peggy, you could family. leave the booth you and do this while I talk to this woman. Floppy? Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm it's against radio regu disks. regulations for her floppy to Floppy disks so. are like these futuristic things that have information on them. But like you a disk? You put them in a computer and they do something. Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. You could be I a little more urgent about this. I imagine it's the same for our this. personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey... I'm guessing Jason's okay. There's also a lot of these like obvious. Check out Reggie's office. They read two lines fight. through, and You'll then the editor it. fucked I'll up, and you can hear the cut between now. the two lines. Thanks, Peggy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I just have to look around. Which, like, why wouldn't you just reformat it so it's all in one line? <sighs> Good. I'll patch my mic down to the office. I want to so like slam my head against now. the wall every time I have to wait for her to stop talking. Okay, great. Reggie's office. Sorry, where was it? I paid no attention. Locked tight. Yeah, they really should have given you like a, a achievement. Unlock all the doors at the station. This door is locked. Shit. Well, they really should have just put like a walkie-talkie effect over her and let you move wherever you want throughout the game. But then it wouldn't be accurate to the '80s, even though every person we're talking Wait. to. Wait. Hold up. What's up? They have an intercom system. Yep. Oh, she's going to speak over the intercom system. That's what she said. Oh, okay. But you're not allowed to leave the room until she's done speaking to you instead of just seamlessly transitioning to intercoms whenever you leave the room. Damn. Looks like I need a four-digit code. 6969. 69. Scorpion. Scorpion. From below it came. Mm. Oh shit, laser racer. I want to believe. Nice door, nice allocation of your space. Floppy disk. I'm just gonna put that floppy disk right there. Damn, dude, what the fuck's a floppy disk? It's crazy. Stop stealing my post-it notes. What kind of frugal motherfucker do you have to be to notice someone using uh, post-it notes? Oh, it's a Fallout hacking minigame. Okay. It's a pizza advertisement. It takes place on 1107, very important day for the town. Okay, great. I, I know the code. Is it 1107? You want me to just tell you? What is it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's 1107. Yeah. Nope. 
That's not working. Let's do something else. I nice. didn't even hit four nope. buttons. Ow, my <laughs> fucking nose! Oh my god! <laughs> Peggy! He's made of glass. Oh, oh fuck. What the hell? Okay, we're just gonna... After reviewing all of the floppy disks, you need to tell Peggy the answer. Aloha. Yeah. I didn't. Hey, I didn't recommend this game. Hello. <laughs> <Yellow>, ah! <laughs> what, man? Shut up. Ah! Stop, ah! Stop trying to be scary. You're not. It's the tapping man. Not looking at it. Pick it up. Goblin. The box that I put the side of my head. You know what's funny knocking. is like they're clearly going for it being Peggy. like. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. Forrest, what are you doing? We don't have time for this. Says Peggy. We have a man literally dying on the line, and you're more interested in you. Hey, right, Peggy, sorry, you're the one who was like, we can't candy. help her. I can read the rest of this later. You know what's funny is, like, I think they're trying to jump scare you with how loud that audio is, but it's, like, so loud that nothing else in the game is at that volume, and it just feels like it's not even a part of what you're experiencing. Very weird issue. Well, I'll probably, like, put all those floppy disks in the safe. There's, like... They're really important, okay? I know, well, but, like, he didn't Peggy, stack them or anything. He just, like... Reggie's on to you and Karen. Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. What? Why are you reading my file? You need to find someone who can help Casey. We already know I can't. Don't waste yeah. time. You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. Sorry, I keep trying I really to back out. Both. We're in John a hurry. refused to engage with the first aid trainer. It's not John. It's so commendable that you're reading any of these. I've got a thirst for knowledge, Jello. Damn. <laughs> you know what I love more than that's, my Lamborghini? That's what. <laughs> that's the happiest noise Yam has made in four hours. <laughs> All right. Because Yam finds me delightful. It's true. I do. It's true. <laughs> Damn. I can't believe they're still trying to make me think like the killer could sneak in and get me when I put mouse traps by the doors. <laughs> Idiots. This is fucking embarrassing at this point. Stupid. I actually don't remember where the stairs are. Oh, they're, they're right it's there. Through, no, those are downstairs. It's through reception. That's what I'm saying. It's through the front desk. Well, Peggy, I didn't read a fucking word of that, but I've no got word. an idea. Uh, one of the voices in my head knows that it's not John. <laughs> we John. love John, though. <laughs> the guide says the floppy just tell you you need to call do, John. Do I have to go back downstairs and call her through the intercom? Yeah, Jello. Duh. You ever played a video game before? Bro. You can't use the button that you always use to contact this bitch. <laughs> Use the other button that's in that specific room. <sighs> okay, where's the intercom? Hello? Right there, behind on the back you. wall. Yeah, behind Hello. you. Sorry, I, I don't see it. I'm stupid. Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I... Hello? Is anybody there? Please pick up. Casey, I'm, I'm here. here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. I tried to get him to rest, but he just threw up everywhere. What's happening? What do I do? He's going into shock, right? It sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the bleeding seemed to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm Keep sorry. screaming in your Jason, unconvincing accent. That'll right. that'll I, make him calm. I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Elevate his leg. Elevate. Right? 
Uh, yeah, 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 elevate the leg. Casey, I need you to elevate, elevate, elevate Jason's leg. Elevate the wound. Rip the wound out of the wall. Fixed him. Jason, you need to Lion King him up about four feet. Can you do that? And the path unwinding. It's a stab wound. We need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as possible. Do you have anything? Can you put a little fucking blankie around him? Doesn't sound very comfortable, Sorry. Casey. Should I get him new ones or? Oh, God. Casey, you should kill him. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something we can use? I've used the rest of the laundry to keep him warm, so I'll use my jacket. I can always get a new one. I'll fix the bandage and get him warm. Who do you care about more, your jacket or your Hold friend? Hold on, please. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question theme starts playing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm done. So it's not as bad as Kingdom Hearts, but it does have some unnecessary gaps between the lines. Riku. They put bugs in him. <laughs> it's not looking good. Casey, be strong for you. Should be strong for Jason. Sit with him. And reassure him that everything's gonna be Tell okay. Tell him the plot to the okay. Lion King. Okay. He'll love that. <laughs> I can't get him what he needs. Tell him about your Kovu fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Forrest, we need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call Dixon earlier? Dixon laughs extra times it? remembering their Kovu fan fiction. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Who, who we call John? John? John Hedges. We need to call John Really? Hedges. He does he? <laughs> He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably oh, the most I only got to read one line. Oh, oh no! Pay attention. I've never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and uh, why if it was like you know who could help us? Clive. All of his old equipment at his <laughs> Something of a horror. He's a janitor. Right. What's his number? Uh, five four why? two zero why seven. Why did the janitor calling now? Have his Can shit here uh, for real. Time is it? It's like John Aloha is said, Nash, it's because the game takes fan. place here. We have an emergency and we need your help. Yes, dude. We need Forrest. your help. This is a work I need your credit card and details. And card don't forget the three numbers Just on the back. Like uh, There's all that info you could subscribe to our Patreon. A man <laughs> has been stabbed by the whistling man. Or... I... Never mind. I... He's lost all a lot right. of blood and he's passed out. We need you to help him. The whistling man? Bro, I didn't. All right, you didn't put the whistling man in the choice there. A man is gonna die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I, I haven't been called on for over ten years. No one's ever Where's called my name. What's his condition? He's at twenty-five, Nancy Drive. I'm not a twenty-three-year-old man with bleeding, a very slight shock. voice deep in there. You say he was stabbed. Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, there's a knife he in him. Two major stab wounds, one to the stomach. Why do we life. need to hear the knife this? Is still in his leg. Why do we, the, the player, so want to hear this? Because they recorded it, Jedi. Right Imagine if Je Edwin Tiong was in this game, that he'd be doing a good job. Let him know you're on your way. And I'd be having fun. Hello, Casey. Bro, if the leads there? were Edwin Tiong and Kira Bottom, this would be the funniest <laughs> game ever. <laughs> I can't believe that he's been stabbed. Sorry, what, uh... How is he now? What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out! Please tell me you found someone to help! Casey, help is on the way. It's all right. Colleague We've got someone so. moving to your position. You hear that, Jason? <laughs> someone is coming! You're gonna be just fine! Inject him with just this. hold on for me, okay? Just Taste of mort on. immortality. <laughs> Hello, Casey. I have a Whoa. thing for women. They actually, they actually, like, put a filter on someone. To indicate distance. I'm guessing that's Jason there. Casey, I'm gonna I'm need help. I'm guessing that's Jason. Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. We've got this from here. Why wasn't okay. John the protagonist? Forrest, we'll call you back we later. love I'm John. Now. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> we love, we love John. John. God, I hope he's gonna be alright. If only the characters were voiced by Dan and McNeely fact, and Carl Weezer. Stop batting your eyelashes at me. Wishes to Jason. 
Ow, baby doll, you're whistling on my man. Well, after all that excitement... Hey, remember that sound they played when we found the janitor's basement? <laughs> yeah, like you failed? I was like, what the fuck? There's this great sound in Deadly Premonition. It, it's, it's in the soundtrack, it's not a sound effect, where they play this insane trumpet in the middle of this investigation music, where like, one of the, one of the tracks is just like, dun, dun. Dun, dun. But then in the foreground, there's like some dude on a saxophone going, boy, boy, boy. And it's like so impossible to take seriously. Put some music on. Sorry. Put the record on. It's getting pretty late. This might be your oh, last break we? for the night, so try to enjoy it. Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. What? What do you think I'm doing as a player that I'm like, oh, woo, all this raw action. I need a breather. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Why do I feel so... Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Whistling, up. man. <laughs> Turn that shit off, Boris. Welcome you back to 9.16, The Scream. I believe we have another caller on the I'm line. I'm Dan McNeely. How are you tonight, caller? Boris, it's me. Fuck Roller yeah, Ricky. Roller Ricky. Oh, here too. Let's go, Roller Ricky. Good to hear from you again. How's How Fazbear's Frights, Roller oh, Ricky? We're good, man. Thanks to you. You're like our guardian angel. Do so you want to go out? Look for you, Forrest. <laughs> a little white wing halo number? Shut up. Shut up, Maybe Peggy. Something for the K5. <laughs> <laughs> right, From Twinsies? <laughs> Twinsies. Ricky, oh my god. <laughs> Is there anything else we can help you with? Literally, Ricky? if one of these Actually, dials muted Peggy, the game would be so much better. <laughs> oh? What's that? You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right, and what does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team, too. What? Tell me about him. What was George like? I he was know voiced by uh, Edwin Tion. And he was of the jungle. Does that mean anything to you? <laughs> uh, he was of the jungle. Whenever he was threatened, he lit himself on fire. And George <laughs> no, man. Once the party <laughs> turned, I beat feet out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love, man. I could see it, you know? Ricky, listen, this is very important. Are you I single? I need to know everything about her. I didn't really know her before, or see her after that. I never okay, Casey, pain, stay man. calm. I just You're gonna need to tape this pain. banana up then to make a fishing like? rod Please, and get a bandage out of this sewer. <laughs> I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. Did she sound like the what one happened? voice actress who is We're evil, or the one that plays every other woman in the game? <laughs> This is very important. Like knew, was she evil? Everyone was running for their life. I looked up. Within two. It's all the goddamn whistling man in the tree. And, and I never ran so fast in my life. I ran straight home. I said a PB. Didn't know about George until next morning. Ricky feels like the only I'm person in this it whole was whistling fucking night, story. Wasn't and John. That the whistling everyone else is just awake just at kid. two in the morning. Yeah. I don't know in the how morning. Died, but, uh, I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it was me. It should have been me. And maybe if you hadn't run, oh my god! It Jesus! It wasn't your fault. You're not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. It took a long time to learn, but. Who is this yeah. guy they got for Roller Ricky? Who's like, oh, Thank we're you. not supposed to act? I'm going to act anyway. You got it, man. Anyway, I think it's time for me and Maxie to free up your phone lines. Thanks for listening, man. 
I'll let you to it. Ah! Night, Ricky. Actually, All Ricky's right, a werewolf, folks. and that's him transforming. Like we got a new lead in the case. Damn. Ooh, anyone, Roller Ricky's voice actor was in Live a Live. This mysterious mm. being and Dead Island too. If she was George's girlfriend wow. back then. So why did? And Baldur's Gate three. Why did Good for him. Now. Why did the janitor have these purposefully oh, creepy have mannequin call heads? In, but for effect. I, obviously, What's I know, that, but like. Peggy? You're gonna want to take this call off the air. We should have taken every Just do call it. off the air tonight. All right, folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. Same one I've been we'll be playing right almost all this. night. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? Yeah, like Surprise! eight people are dead. It's Leslie, our 911 operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Yeah. Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. Uh, anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. It's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet! I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards Gallows Creek as we speak. Why do they, they have a whole goddamn squad? The lines. They had no idea what was happening. That's great news! That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? No, I think yes, it was an unrelated chipmunk. What do you fucking he, think, how Peggy? She, <laughs> how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. You can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. Whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in, so once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. Luckily, she's not listening in right now. Well, they're all fair. I'll do my best. Oh. I know you will. Sorry, I'm Heck, so I accustomed to everything we're now. doing being funny. Nash's interview <laughs> should have taken all these phone calls. Oh, anyway, air. I'll radio That's the other content, cars and though. tell them the plan is a go. <laughs> Bro, these calls <laughs> content. The next time oh I my see content. You, with our killer behind bars. Everyone Take else care. living in 1987 we'll see you soon, Aloha Leslie. in 2027. God, it sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Woman getting stabbed over the phone? That's content, baby. Yo, yes, baby, that's content. content. Let's get back on air. Yo, I you hope Pizza Potty Man Time to turn the music calls off. again. Yo, Pizza Potty Man. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. You guys really not have gotten is, one is more male voice okay? actor. He's a fighter. He'll be fine. Did you have to use a voice mod on him that. like it's in a bridge series? We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then... God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Correct. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? I'm the killer. <laughs> this forest. It's John. Jason, we meet at last. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. So, 
I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. So what but, uh, What victims did St. Gabriel's I, had that, that were more pressing than a stab yes, wound? The whistling man is still out uh, there. Um, I had a tummy ache and I was being very brave about it. <laughs> All of their patients got tummy yep. aches at the same time. As far as we know, anyway. <laughs> Damn it! How could this From happen on the day purple. the uranium, the uranium man Actually, came to town? To <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he? Ricky? Is he all right? From he my down. friendly neighborhood? He was attacked earlier. Voiced by Arlo, directed by Brendan Blaber. Hey guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Sure. I hey, why did you interrupt Sorry, us Jason, if you were just going to do that? that? Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part see of it on the radio my best friend is dead. Something awful dot com. You get hit with that paywall again. About it said if I ever dollar. Said I'd find myself Can't read Dongan Rampa, Jason? For a long time. <laughs> Shut up. <It> hell. <laughs> and then the town just Stop it. Moved on. You're too like funny. It never existed. <laughs> <laughs> you kill. <laughs> what happened that night? I went along with the stupid prank, that's what. Whistling Night. Some of the Sorry, guys Whistling Night existed before the Whistling Man? We could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods and have the Whistling Man crash it. It was stupid. I guess maybe there's we each two had separate a roll. killings initially. I was the mm -hmm. stabbed friend. At the party that night, I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone started an almighty panic those screams that was the last time I saw or heard George alive how did George die Jason I don't know I was playing dead but when I heard her scream Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean is that who you mean Bean Bandit <laughs> The George riding bean? Yeah. Yo, if we're up against riding bean, bean, we're fucked. <laughs> I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was What? What happened? Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Seems like the power is completely Love the idea that she was like right on? outside. An emergency broadcast? Emergency, you know, nuclear war, alien attack, broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops. So I love this. Now it's hard to hear. Fair point. It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. Oh, see you when you're back. You go do it. Uh, the generators are pretty much where you found the Star the Starling 2000 manual. Yeah, yeah, music. Get ready for spooky noise. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry. You don't need to worry about a fucking thing. Here, you know what? <laughs> I'll take one just for good measure. This is my <laughs> cheese flavored dice. Oh yeah, uh, one's gonna be. It's a mouse trap. Aloha. Yeah, I'm sure. Hi, <laughs> man. There's two doors, I don't know. Anyway, I'm abandoning her. <laughs> Can you imagine if you could just leave? God, I mean, the good ending? I wanted to get in on Whistling Night. I thought it would be funny. My Did friendly neighborhood just leave ending. <laughs> hmm. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, sorry, shut okay, up. sorry. 
Sorry, sorry. Mm. <sighs> Far back corner. Why is this station so big? Yeah. Uh, over here? No. No, it was like a big thing. I think it might be on the other side. Or in there, maybe. Yeah, that thing. That must be it. Oh! We've got power! Yeah, I don't care. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Okay. Uh, she's got a mouse trap. Oh darn, this doesn't Peggy, work. Okay. Are you there? Are you Peggy? I need to get back upstairs. Fuck. Come on, Peggy Death. The mouse trap. <sighs> what the hell? What the hell? Nothing. Dual wield. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> no! No, how? <laughs> it can't be possible! No, no. How did he defeat our ultimate only, defenses? It was Peggy. only calibrated for Peggy! It's not, Whoa. it doesn't lock. What the? It doesn't lock from this side. We established this can't be that. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck's behind all this? Adam thick Driver, ice? no! <laughs> this doesn't lock. A, a call. A ghost? Fuck, I don't know. I've got a mouse trap! Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show, but it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still, so let's make the most of it. What do you mean, make the most of it? How? Well, we're so alive, so that's something. I thought we'd end tonight's whistling man special with a special guest, the one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of your mouth and. You crazy bitch! Oh, whatever. Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. A politician, dude. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But even if he crawled out of his coffin with all the money in the world. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. Well, he knows he'll get it. Wait, then who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallant's Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. Your son? You mean you... Wait, the... the he... Of course, that explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. And that's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. Do you want some coffee? I think I've forgotten about that forest. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. Hang on. Did you say barrel? That are you? Let me just get this mask off. George's old girl. Oh, well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God damn it! I'd be quiet if I were you, Teddy. But I. I'd listen to Forrest. Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night, twenty years ago. Listen to me. 
house Yo. almost 12 years you ago. When I talked to you, and not a moment before. I feel bad because I think they cast a pretty good killer. She's just got nothing to work with. Yeah, she's doing she's doing what she can do with this script. Sorry, what did she ask? I was talking to my best friend. Sorry, I was too busy watching you uh, slam this mob into a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was- I know we're in like a life or death situation. I was stimming. <laughs> you, you, know, you know how it's like people watch the screensavers and wait for it to hit the corner? That was what I was doing. I was just watching you do that constantly. I uh, just- I- don't worry, I'll- I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Why should just I? Say, I'll do it. Like I'll do it. None of these choices okay, matter yet. I'll do it. Good. Then let's talk about the night George was murdered. Murdered? Uh, listen, I... <laughs> Cartoon punching. Sound. I said you speak when you're spoken to. Apparently there's a birthday card you should be picking up. Now. Yeah, that, that's a, like an eventual work like, tonight, thing. Piecing together yeah, the cat one. Happened to George the corner. 20 years ago, and that's uh, I want yeah. to interview us. Up. Right there, uh, yeah. I'm like... If you say so. If you rotate and look really inside or some shit. Argue. I'm happy we have your cooperation. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. I need to drag this out. If I can mm -hmm. buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek. And Three hours? No way, hey, man. Is, I mean, it's already it been a lot of hours. End. She's like... Almost okay. here. We'll start She's within you. radio range. Okay, okay. Just, uh, talk me through what happened. I can give you the answers for the interview. When yeah, I sure, I don't start. care. How would yeah. I know? It was 20 years ago. <laughs> Do you want to die? Do you want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't, start talking. <laughs> Hit him, Marie. What the hell? God damn it. Okay. Our first team party was coming up, and when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Uh, tell me why that night. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. We couldn't pass it up. I was just surprised no one had ever thought to do it The before. Frank Fontaine Wait. energy on this performance. You mean this was the first whistling night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God, who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. Brought Marie. And Roller Ricky. He was there too, wasn't he? Yes. Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky. He sounds Our so much like Coach Z every once in a while. Him it's off the bottle, you know? <laughs> yes? Uh, he was there too? Man. That's a fact? That so? That's a police yes, fact? <laughs> he came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life, so I helped him keep himself together. Teddy, are you a robot? You were afraid he would talk about that night. Or he says that like he literally, he was like, literally helped keep him keep it together. Bum, bum, bum. We put the prank like it's going to be some Hold kind on. of twist. Hold on, literally. That's uh, Jason there. Bloody, like, he just been stabbed. And the whistling man. And I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. I love standing Teddy in a room waiting for dialogue to end. Uh, Ricky, uh, no, Ricky didn't know. No, Marie, you're wrong. Ricky didn't know. What? Did what? You miss that part of the broadcast? I believe he you. <laughs> he had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. We told him. Bob, Rat bastard. Him but he. Well. It doesn't matter. He didn't run his mouth enough to tell this him. This kid is just like. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, it was just a stupid prank. Just fucking here. 
Just a prank question mark? How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on. I... Oh, God No bullying. It. You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding. Mousetrap, and you're the producer now. Just in time. Oh. Well. Do his job. Have the good sense to die earlier. He's gonna get an angry Patreon Jello review, huh? This isn't Enough getting a review. <laughs> this video is good enough. Somehow I don't need to be like, don't play it because this. You can just skim through this and be like, oh, it's lame. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then. Could have been a cool radio play. Yeah, this is the wrong medium for this. Laughing. Telling me it's it's just a joke. Let's stop for time here. Uh, who was it? Who was it, Marie? Who was the whistling man? I suddenly recognized it was Chuck. Charles Chuck. Entertainment Marie. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. That's who we've been trying to trap all night. Dun dun dun! Oh my god. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. Whoa. I'll have it be known, I voted for Knuckle Sandwich. <laughs> what happened next? Nothing. <coughs> I mean, it was just. Teddy? George fell off Whistling Point. Uh, how did you know? How, how do you, you know what yeah. happened? I saw it. You pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. People can't take a joke these days. Bro, you realize you got no chance of being then, there. Then why the cover up? And get lying. ready for a quick response. Like and, uh, it's, My yeah, future that's evil. Was at stake, Ash. You know what it's like. Like us are bred for bigger things. Bread? I'm going to be there. You know it goes well with bread. Cheese, why don't you and come over go. here and grab this and then, completely innocuous you know, cube? What happened <laughs> that night was tragic. Bro, I can go for a cube happened. of cheese right now. I might order a pizza after stay. this. I thought it was, it was weird that the whistling man was joke. suspiciously cheese-shaped. So <laughs> this guy, Adam Driver, walks in, he's shaped like a big triangle. <laughs> That's what he looked like in one of those Star Wars movies. <laughs> Somehow, Cheese Patine has returned. Oh, uh, that's evil. That's evil. That's an... Yeah, that's the last quick time response. Say, so Teddy. You can, Thank you. That's the way you can go back to mopping. <laughs> My father. Glad I brought this in here. Murray. I looked all night. Jogger found him the next morning, washed up on the river. Instead of telling the truth, she lied. She said she found him in the reservoir. Our jazz runner, Sandra Sharp. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And I saw. I'm. I'm sorry. Dr. Sullivan had survived, then maybe... Sorry, how did... How is Clive involved in this? I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. Fuck. No. That coward killed the story. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. Wait, you really think you're getting out of this? Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Uh... Uh, you've been through hell. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. It never started. Why would you bring your own kid into this operation? They killed his father. 
That means he didn't kill him. Yeah, because they killed him. You're <laughs> right! Get him with the mouse trap! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a sec. This is the kind of shit that people care about when there's nothing going uh, on in their town. The school gym. Gallows Creek High. In the gymnasium. That's right, Forrest. Why is he walking around now? I am so yes. his I mean, Jello's walking around in the inside, anyway, too. <laughs> He's also bored. Wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Marie? Where? Oh my god. Peggy! Teddy? You've got to help me. Wait, how did I... Peggy get there? Quiet. You'll talk more later. Now I have to talk to someone who mattered. Get the card. Peggy. It's been so long since I've seen your face. I'm worried. Will. You come. Marie. Hi. Oh, Hi. Will, we tried God. not to make you suffer. I I you missed all the dumb radio much. shit that I bet would have pissed you off. I'd never Great. forget my own sister. <laughs> Sister? What? Sister? Uh, that one didn't Peggy, say it was quick what, response for some reason. Why are you even there? Wanna explain, Peggy? Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? No. Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, we found out that my sister is the whistling man. Oh, Good congrats. Does this <laughs> matter? Does this mean anything to any character in the entire story? Is there any weight given to this revelation? Uh, you know it does have some weight? <laughs> Jeez. 48 paper balls in the basket. Oh, <laughs> forget! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last There was chance. no way to say it, not on the air. I told nice. you to try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... Yeah, appropriate time to do You should have said. You should have said yeah. something. You should have told Sorry, these me. don't say they're quick response. No, yeah, no, you're good. You're good. I should have. Yeah. But I didn't imagine this situation then, so just... Hey, man, what's up? What happened to you, Marie? Were you gonna kiss? You just disappeared one I day. I bet you're pretty handsome under that mask. Yeah, I'm oh my god. Out, Peggy. Why is there a son? I mean, you know, day night cycle. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mom. I'm yeah. so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Will, do you like standing in a place for an hour listening to people talk? Because this is the game for you. No, I mean, Last of Us is a luxury of letting you walk. Uh, is that why you attacked Eugene? I. Wait. Is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze, Gene Stein? Because his parents That's right. wrote the Goosebumps books? Gene's parents were there that night, too. That's stupid. They got themselves killed in a bus accident. Then they're dead, man. And since only their child was left. Murray, please. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. The son is involved because this is a great mother-son activity. About you. True. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. What card? Cards what aren't card real. Cards are tools. This, this kid is just as bored as we are. Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I... You know how you sign but I'm the not first eight. letter of your name well, I, when you're a child? Shoot him! <laughs> oh. Henry, get out of there! <laughs> oh, he's moving. We have two wounded, and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Hand is the police. Freeze! Forrest! Leslie, how's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad, but we're here now. My okay. recording booth has no pathetic cards, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm on the air, Marie. Marie. She bolted right as we got here. Bro, we've been on the air this right whole time. It won't be on now. It's over, Forrest. 
It's over, Forrest. Acting well, in this game is pretty folks, bad. It was a long night, but we made it through together. <laughs> You're we really trying together. to recover this. <laughs> Peggy, this is Ben. Forrest Nash. And it's been a scream. Nobody People died Jesus tonight, Christ. Forrest. Nobody called in even once about that. Will, this was a game where people get murdered live on the air and you just let it play? Huh, that's you... um, not what you do. Yeah, yeah, so this game, you're at... How do I stop this? <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're running this all night radio station when suddenly the 911 dispatcher calls you and is like, Hey, the police sheriff has been murdered and the deputy is out and I can't reach the nearest police station because we only have two cops um, and we're in like a backwater town and I'm the 911 operator and I need to go and get backup. So I've rerouted the 911 dispatch to your radio station. So while you're on air, please receive our 911 calls while I'm gone for like four hours or whatever. That's and insane. Yeah. <laughs> what? The, in, in no universe is that the protocol. <laughs> Who's Murphy? Uh, he was the guy with the son, Fernando, that burned in the waste plant. Oh, whatever. Why did he get killed? <laughs> <laughs> One free beer. Yo, uh, we, we shouldn't be in here. Jesus Christ. It's fine. It's Mullen Hill is encroaching. Oh, we skipped the, the epilogue. Part. Oh, sorry. I meant, I read that as skip to the epilogue. Does anyone care? No one cares, right? Oh, awesome. No one cares. No. I assume. Yeah. Oh, we're going back in, huh? No, I was just looking. Um, well, yeah, we, was... we should, we should uh, show the opening moments to Will so he can be like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so much longer to set up than you think it would be. It's not going to be worth it. Oh, I don't mean play it again. I just mean, like, watch our vibe. Oh, okay. oh sure. Yeah, um, also, no, just everything about this, I think, would have made you really angry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I missed it. Well, I was like, oh, we got to get Will in for this. And then, like, by the time you were free, as far as we knew, like, we were, like, three hours into the game. It's like, nah, at this point. We should just Let's spare his day. We should spare him. We should spare him. him. <laughs> I mean, I had a good day, so. Yeah, exactly. See, that's better. Because we didn't, we didn't call you in. <laughs> yeah, I got pizza. Some soda. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, I'm going to get great, pizza. Well. Uh, thanks for watching, stream. Um, sorry you were here. That wasn't good. <laughs> Pick a better one next time. You can support us on Patreon. <laughs> you can support us on Patreon. Are you yeah. seriously ending with it's your fault, pay us? I mean, they I did mean... vote for it explicitly. Oh, they did vote <laughs> oh, for <all> right. it. <laughs> you know. Oh, so, well. yes. Yeah, so, I mean, come on. Like, uh, do credit where it's Yeah, due. come on. Yeah. Um, with, with the new I... evidence provided, okay, you're in the right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, kill them. <laughs> kill them. <laughs> yeah. And also, check out the stream tomorrow. More Skies of Arcadia. Yay! And then yeah. afterwards, we got the One Piece One reading. Piece. We're done with Act One. You get to hear me bitch about Marine Ford, which I've been waiting to do for a while. On the Patreon, five dollar tier. Uh, go got get it. it. All right, bye. Why bye. wasn't this called Dead Air? Bye.